Great Voyage, the cartoonist of the Straw Hats. Chapter 26 The Power of Listening Luffy's observation Haki Kiyazora is hacking wooden gillum stakes, and over the Luffy isn't idle either. Question mark San Haitumi? In the world Tilda, Luffy is now on a deserted island. Before he had defeated Jian Zutan of the actual four ghosts, he continued to march beyond the palace. No matter if Maine and Tasmi dissuade, Luffy will not listen. After going through five levels and killing six generals, Luffy reached the gate of the inner city of the palace. But as soon as Luffy stepped into the palace, a dimensional formation appeared under his feet, directly teleporting him to this deserted island. Over the past few days, it is the fortieth time Luffy has come to this deserted island. Buzz Tilda. When the dimensional phalanx flickered, Luffy appeared on the big rock on the deserted island. Damn it. This time I finally saw that bastard clearly. When I go out, I must beat that bastard away. The moment he was just teleported, Luffy finally confirmed that the guy who launched this dimensional phalanx was the guy sitting on a tree in front of him. It's just that he was teleported to this deserted island before he could do anything. A tilde, along with a howl, there was a sudden rustling sound from the trees on the left. Soon, a group of dangerous species that looked like wild wolves rushed out of the woods. Sorry, I'm going to beat you up again. Luffy stood still, rubbed his fists, and focused on the dangerous population of wild wolves in front of him. The leading dangerous wolf species raised its head to the sky and roared loudly, and the other dangerous wolf species showed fierce eyes for an instant, opened their sharp teeth, and rushed towards Luffy. Boom, boom, boom. Luffy looked straight ahead and knocked down the three wolves that were rushing forward in an instant. Battle experience value plus 666, question mark. Fruit proficiency plus 666, question mark. Haki prototype experience value plus 666, question mark. Battle experience value plus 666, question mark. Fruit proficiency plus 666, question mark. Haki prototype experience value plus 666, question mark. Then, one side of his head tilde, a bloody mouth appeared just above his left shoulder. Woo tilde, the wolf screamed, and Luffy broke its neck. Luffy still has a fresh memory of this wild wolf. When he first came to this deserted island, this wild wolf gave him a bite, and then he was directly bitten by the pack of wolves. At the time Luffy thought he was going to die, but the severe pain directly made Luffy withdraw from the comic world. Although the pain was brought to pirate world, the bloody wound was gone. After that, Luffy got a useful message. Injuries suffered in there, Zantong. World will not be brought back to the real world. Desert Island Tilda. Whoosh, boom, boom, exclamation mark. Luffy swayed left and right, and every time he trussed and turned, a wild wolf would fall to the ground. Many of these wolves gave Luffy a fatal blow, but with Luffy coming in more times Tilda, Luffy found that his hearing seems to have become more sensitive, exclamation mark. At first, he could only catch the wolf's attacking track with his eyes, but later, Luffy could gradually hear the wolf's attacking route, and come in this time tilde. This listening power seems to have reached a certain critical point, making Luffy able to clearly capture movements in any direction outside his field of vision. Snapped. The last wolf leader was knocked to the ground by Luffy, and he let out an unwilling wail tilde. Battle experience value plus 666, question mark. Fruit proficiency plus 666, question mark. Haki prototype experience value plus 666, question mark. Haki prototype reaches the standard, start observation Haki practice. Haki prototype preaches the standard, start armament Haki practice. Unseen hints bubbled up above Luffy's head. Flutter flutter tilde. Before Luffy could stop for a long time, the clear sound of wings vibrating appeared in his ears. Damn it, here it comes again. He turned his head and looked at a cave behind him, only to see densely packed dangerous species of bats flying there. These dangerous species are bats the size of a rooster, but not only do they have sharp claws, but their fangs are ridiculously long. The most terrible thing is the quantity. A group flew over, no less than 300 of them. About the twelfth time he entered the deserted island, Luffy was already able to clean up the dangerous population of wild wolves. But in the face of this dangerous species in the form of a big bat, until the last time Luffy came, he could only end up with bruises all over his body. No matter how fast the wolf is, it can only attack from the ground. The big bats are different, they can attack from the air without dead ends. And because of their body structure, their voice is much lower than that of wild wolves! Exclamation mark. If Luffy's Haki experience value hadn't been increasing, it would have been absolutely impossible to hear the sound of thump, 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 when the big bat flew just now. The previous record was 42. I don't know if we can break through 50 this time. Luffy jumped off the boulder and ran into the woods. Fighting large swarms of bats in the open is no different than committing suicide. Coming to the woods, Luffy took advantage of the cover of the terrain and began to face the dangerous population of big bats. Rubber baseball hit. The arm holding a tree trunk stretched out suddenly 
killing a big bat cleanly. This is a good way for Luffy to figure out after many fights. If you attack with your fist, you will inevitably not be scratched by the fangs of the big bat. The teeth of these guys are extremely poisonous, and once poisoned, they will be paralyzed. With the help of tools, this trouble is avoided. Battle experience value plus 666. Question mark. Fruit proficiency plus 666. Question mark. Observation Hark EXP plus 666. Question mark. Before he knew it, Luffy was already using Observation Haki. The big bats were dispatched in groups. One was dealt with by Luffy, and they swarmed after leaving. Wish Tilda. Luffy's other arm had already grasped the trees in the distance, and as soon as it retracted at this moment, he pulled himself away from the attacking distance of the big bat. There are two big bats competing with Luffy, rushing over quickly. Luffy's arm came around from behind a tree and gave each of the two bats a blow to the back of the head. Phew. Fourth Tilda. Phew. Fifth Tilda. Dot. Luffy kept moving and kept pulling back, killing the big bats one by one tilde. When more than 40 big bats were eliminated, red light suddenly appeared in the eyes of these big bats, as if a certain state had been activated, and they became manic. Even the speed has increased. Moreover, these big bats no longer acted alone, but gathered together and attacked Luffy from all directions. Phew. Luffy kills the ones that charge in front of him. If it was before, then the next thing is that he was swarmed by a group of bats. But today, when Luffy killed the big bats in front of him, he could clearly hear the sounds of all the big bats on his left, right, top, bottom, and back! Exclamation mark. Under such a clear sound, Luffy can judge the spatial position of each of them. With the power of listening so clearly, Luffy's confidence soared. Phew, 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 dot. When the last big bat was knocked down by Luffy, he jumped up excitedly. Wow ha ha, I became stronger again. Chapter 27 Why are you so lost? In the cabin, the studio. I finished another manga and the attribute points should increase a lot. Liu Olan put down the paintbrush in his hand and stretched. Every time in the process of drawing manga, the two attribute points of speed and defense will increase in an orderly manner. When a manga is finished, there will be a surge in speed and defense attribute points. Liu Olan opened the system interface and checked it. Really, the speed attribute value increased by more than 3,000 points, and the defense attribute value increased by more than 5,000 points. Comfortable? Mm. Tilda? Question mark. Suddenly, Liu Lan noticed that the integral value below the attribute point had changed again. Before meeting Luffy, this point value has always been zero. Just a few days ago, this integral value finally changed from zero to one. And now, the point value has changed again, from one to two. According to the notes next to the points, when the points have accumulated to ten, you can exchange for treasures. What mechanism is this point increased by? If you say that since I joined the Straw Hat Pirates, my habits haven't changed. I still draw manga every day. Could it be that a certain manga is more brilliant? so points will be rewarded immediately. Liu Olan looked down at their, biography of Zaraki Kanpaki, that he had just finished, and made random guesses. Forget it, I decided to lie flat anyway, so let it be. The points like to go up, and it doesn't matter if it doesn't go up. After thinking about it for a while, Liu Olan couldn't figure it out, so Liu Olan decided not to waste his brain cells on this kind of thing. Anyway, the Straw Hat Pirates are already backed, unless Oda is possessed by the author of Haitumi Zan, Otherwise, how can Liu Olan survive to the finale? Guli Liu Tilda. There was a protest in my stomach. Liu Olan looked at the time. It was already time for dinner. When the door was opened, a smell of barbecue came to the face. Where it's really attractive. On the deck, Luffy and Zora were turning over the grill, grilling a sea creature of unknown species. Hey Tilda, Liu Olan, you came at the right time. This big fish has just been grilled. Luffy picked his nostrils and was about to take down the big fish that had been grilled. Stop. Seeing this scene, Liu Olan immediately slammed his feet stepped on his feet, and appeared in front of Luffy in an instant, grabbed his booja picking hand, and pulled him aside with a look of disgust. Picking your nose while cooking is not a good habit Liu Olan criticized. That's right, I told him a long time ago. He just won't listen. Seeing Liu Olan stand up against the evil forces, Zora also echoed loudly with a burst of expression. However, upon hearing this, Liu Olan's face turned dark immediately. Nanny, did you dig it just now? Om um, Luffy nodded, with a harmless expression on his face tilde. Brush. At this time, Zora came down with a knife and cut the huge grilled fish in two. Okay, this half is not close to the handle, it's safe, Liu Olan, let's share. Zora grabbed more than half of the grilled fish and took Liu Olan to share the spoils. You two are so boring. Luffy curled his lips, grabbed the remaining half of the grilled fish, and unknowingly picked his booja while eating tilde. Liu Olan brought two pots, and Zora cut them into several large pieces with a few knives, and dropped them into the pots. Let me tell you, look at Luffy when cooking, he will pick his nose while cooking again, you cut him with a knife. Liu Olan at grilled fish while talking. I have to say that the fish in One Piece world tastes really good. The meat is delicate and refreshing, 
Even without seasoning, it is definitely delicious. Zara tore off a large piece and stuffed it into his mouth. While eating, he said vaguely, okay, no problem. By the way, Liu Olan, your speed is so fast. Is this a physical technique? This is the first time Zara has seen Liu Olan show his speed. He felt that even his current master, Sasaki Kojiro, could never reach the level of Liu Olan in terms of speed. Of course, what he didn't know was that just now Liu Olan appeared in front of Luffy at a teleportation speed, which was not at all the level of his full speed. Even, in fact, it was just Liu Olan's random movement. Luffy overheard it and came over. Yeah, the last time you slapped Colonel Marine in Shield Town, I was blown away by the speed, Luffy said. Then why didn't you ask last time? Zora wondered. Luffy blinked his eyes and spread his hands. I forgot later. Later, Luffy looked at Liu Olan and asked. Is this speed also the ability developed by the manga fruit? Manga fruit? Liu Olan was stunned. How did I become a cartoon fruit? But after thinking about it, he understood. That's right, I can draw manga so well, it's normal to be mistaken for a manga fruit ability. Well, I will accept this title tilde. If someone asks in the future, then I am the manga fruit ability user. If someone asks me why I don't have relevant fruit abilities, it's very simple. My ability development direction is all on creating the storyline tilde. However, as for the speed issue, Liu Lan didn't want to attribute it to the fruit ability. He shook his head, number. This is my racial talent. Not only speed, but also my defense is super strong. It's really a super powerful racial talent. Zora unabashedly showed envy. With this speed, as long as you practice a little, you will be a strong swordsman at the beginning. So, when it's time to fight in the future, can I use you as a shield? Luffy's brain circuits are always different from ordinary people tilde. Why are you so damaged? Liu Olan went up and gave Luffy a brain break tilde. But, it seems that it is not impossible tilde. After stenciling his chin, Liu Olan imagined the scene. Forget it tilde. Can't open this hole. I'm a man who wants to make it to the finale, so I can't let Luffy be developed into a skill. Otherwise, if it is used smoothly, then he will have to use it every day in battle. Yeah, you are really bad. Zora also took the opportunity to give Luffy a shot. Dot. Luffy scratched his head, am I wrong? After a while, the three of them were full of water and meat. It's so full. Luffy stood up, raised his arms and stretched, and looked at the sea in the distance. Suddenly Tilda, his stretching motion stopped, and then he built a shade in front of his eye sockets with his hands, and shouted, hey, there's a dead body in the sea. Chapter 28 He must be greedy for my beauty. Liu Olan and Zora also stood up. I saw a small sailboat floating on the sea. At this time, the sails had been lowered, and the oars did not move as if they were floating along the waves. A young girl was lying on the boat, motionless. It was indeed dead. Only Liu Olan saw the tattoo of the dragon pirates on one arm of the girl Tilda. Obviously, this is a little thief cat Tilda. Luffy looked at the boat drifting slowly below, and said sympathetically, This woman is so pitiful, she died at sea at a young age. Zora nodded, It looks like she might have lost her way at sea. It's really bad luck that she died at sea. Dot. Below, when Nami on the boat heard the discussion between the two, his mouth was so angry that his mouth was crooked Tilda. You two idiots. They look like dead people. Hurry up to save people Tilda. Of course, she didn't really need to be saved. As an excellent navigator, Nami can travel freely in the east blue with a small boat. Every time you set off, start with a boat, and you can always return with a full load when you go back. The so-called high-end hunters often appear in the form of prey. This is the case with Nami in front of me. Would you like to rescue her and see? Luffy leaned over the railing, chin on his arms and spoke. Zoro immediately waved his hands. No, no, she's already dead. Why did we bring her body up? Yes, Luffy suddenly realized, and then agreed. That's better. Otherwise, tomorrow will stink. Puff. Ha ha ha. Listening to the conversation between the two, Liu Olan was holding back a laugh. But right now I can't hold back any more Tilda. He simply said with a black belly, what you say makes sense. Let's go. Ah, Tilda. Nami was about to have a cerebral hemorrhage. You three idiots, forget it if you don't save people and you ll eat a dead person every time. You are the dead. It has been a long time for Nami to go to sea this time, and he has never been able to find the great seed of resentment. At this time, he finally found one. How could he want to give up? Ah, she moved her body slightly, and let out a weak Shen Yin tilde. Hey, being reminded by Nami, Zora turned his head and looked over, exclaiming, she's still alive. Looks like Hey Luffy also nodded. He looked at Nami and shouted, hey. Are you still alive, fool? Do I need to ask again? Nami is so angry Tilda. How did he encounter such uncooperative prey? She raised her head slowly, supported her swaying body with one hand, and said weakly, Help. Help me. Please give me a glass of water. If possible, please give me another piece of noodles. Bread. I. I'm in danger. As she said that, she weakly raised her trembling finger again, pointing to a big treasure box next to her. Money. I will give you as much money as you want. Please. Help me. As soon as she finished speaking. Luffy's arms stretched out, grabbed her arms, 
and pulled her directly to the boat. Hey, Nami was stunned for a while before realizing that he was already on the boat. She looked at Luffy with some horror, you dot 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 your arms stretched. I'm a person with the ability of rubber fruit. Look, Luffy smiled, and stretched his arms to the sea and sky, showing the ability of rubber fruit. A Mount Tilda, is it so? Nami was a little depressed. According to her previously designed idea, it should be that when the other party sees the big treasure chest on her ship, they will scramble to get down to get the treasure, and she takes the opportunity to go to the other party's ship and take the opportunity to drive away the other party's ship. But she never thought that they would pull her aboard directly without getting off the boat. Her eyeballs rolled around, and she thought of Remedy again. Can you fix my boat on your boat? I'll leave after I rest. Nami asked. No problem. Zoro held onto the railing with one hand, exerted a little force, and jumped off with a swipe. Tying a boat is a job that requires cooperation, Zoro beckoned to Luffy. Come and help me. Coming. Luffy jumped down too. The two of them stick the small boat to the big boat one by one. Very good. Two down. There is another one. Let me do a little trick Tilda. So, Nami looked at Liu Olan pitifully again. Please dot 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 can you help me get that treasure chest? I'll help you get the treasure chest, and then you can take our boat Tilda. If Liu Olan hadn't read the original manga, he might really have believed in Nami at this time. Shrugging his shoulders, Liu Olan smiled and said, no trouble, they tied up the boat. So bring your treasure chest up. Don't be fooled. Nami froze for a moment, and began to think about countermeasures again. After thinking for a while, she said again, the waves are a bit big, I think the two of them can't figure it out. How about you go and help your partner? Liu Lan smiled, no need. You don't know them well, although the two of them are a bit stupid, they are very strong and ruthless. This kind of rough work is just right for them. Liu Lan naturally knows what Nami wants to do Tilda. But he also knows Nami's difficulties and principles. On the one hand, he has to save money to save the entire village, on the other hand, he still abides by the principle of only stealing money from bad people. Such a girl is rare. Without breaking Nami's careful thought, Liu Olan passed the basin in his hand, let's not talk about this now. You have been hungry for so long, should you eat something first? A burst of aroma rushed into Nami's nose, making her hungry Tilda. Although her weakness is feigned, her hunger is real. Now that delicious food is in front of you, how can you bear it? Thank you thank you. After receiving Liu Olan's grilled fish, Nami was a little moved. However, she was only moved for two seconds, and she immediately told herself to wake up. Pirates where there are good people. He must be greedy for my beauty. Pretend to care about me first, and then attack me. Although he looks sunny and handsome, but he is a pirate, he must be a bad guy. Quickly expelling the emotion that lasted for two seconds just now, Nami picked up a piece of grilled fish and stuffed it into his mouth Tilda. Chapter 29 Is it a man Tilda? Nailed it. At this moment, two rubber palms grabbed the railing, and with a whoosh, Luffy landed on the deck. Hey, and me. Zora's voice came from below. Right. Luffy's arms extended, pulling Zora from below onto the deck. This is your treasure chest. Put it here. Don't forget to take it with you when you leave. Zora put the treasure chest in his hand beside the fence and reminded. Luffy also took a look at the treasure chest and said, You go out to sea alone, without food but with a treasure chest. It seems that you are a money addict. Ahem. Listening to Luffy's first impression of her, Nami almost choked on a grilled fish. You bastard. You are so accurate Tilda. In fact, even this chest was stolen by Nami. But who would have known that it contained some ragged clothes, which made Nami depressed. When she saw Zoro bring up the treasure chest just now, she was still a little flustered. Because she said before that she would use the treasure to exchange food with the three people in front of her. If they found that there was no food in this treasure box, what would they do if they turned their faces? But now, Nami felt that the three people in front of her didn't covet her treasure chest at all. Even the green-haired guy kindly reminded her not to forget to take it with her when she left. Are you really pirates? You dot 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 don't plan to take my treasure? With deep doubts, Nami asked cautiously. It's just a little effort. What money do you want? Liu Olan said boldly. It didn't take us any time. Zora nodded. Besides, we have money ourselves, why should we take yours? As soon as these words came out, Nami's eyes Luffy almost reflexively turned into Bailey's shape Tilda. Are you rich? She asked excitedly. Um, on the point of having money, Luffy agrees. Colonel Munker was defeated in Shield Town before. Under Liu Olan's suggestion, they took out all the people's fat and people's green that Munker had collected over the years and distributed them to the local people. In addition, Munker's Xiojin curry still has a lot of stolen money seized from the captured pirates adding up to more than 100 million baileys. The money was naturally taken away by Liu Olan and others. We should have more than 100 million baileys, Zora thought about it, and told Nami honestly. Liu Olan has black lines all over her head tilde, good guy. It's nothing more than revealing the fact that we are local tyrants just now, but now we have even exposed our family background tilde. Zora, Zora, you are retarded tilde. Telling the truth about his family in front of a peerless thief, isn't this a sarcasm? Liu Olan guessed. Nami had already started thinking about how to steal the money, but fortunately, 
The money was kept with him, so he didn't worry about it being stolen. Good really good Tilda. Nami's eyes were covered by a pattern of Bailey at this time. What's good? Listening to Nami's inexplicable words, Zora showed doubts. Oh, I mean it's nice to be rich. Waking up from the obsession, Nami hurriedly prevaricated. Yugi's talk, I'm going to read comics first. Luffy was already full, and he had exercised his muscles and bones just now, and immediately wanted to continue to fight in the Xantong world. There are still three chances today and we have to use them up. Luffy works so hard, Zora is naturally not bad. I'll go as well. He is now apprenticed to Sasaki Kojiro, and he is in a hot period. He wished he could split wooden gillum piles for 360 hours a day. If it wasn't for being hungry and needing to eat, he really wanted to live directly in the comics. Only Leo Lan and Nami are left on the deck. These two guys. Reading a manga is so active, it seems that the manga I draw is really attractive Tilda. You can eat these grilled fish first. If it is not enough, there are ingredients in the kitchen, just do it yourself. For Nami, Liu Olan doesn't have to worry too much. This guy is at least thinking about their money at most, and won't kill them. As for the matter of recruiting Nami, Liu Olan is not in a hurry. Luffy hasn't discovered Nami's sailing talent yet, and when he finds out, Nami will be locked. Then brush a wave of dragon dungeons, and it will be done. Anyway, go with the flow and everything will be okay. Hey, hey, are you going to? Seeing that Liu Olan was about to leave. Nami suddenly became suspicious Tilda. When she used tricks to steal money from other pirates, none of those pirates looked at her. But these three pirates in front of them are so good that they don't even bother to look at her. Could it be that my Nami is so bad? Especially this Liu Lan, who looks so sunny and handsome, if only he could look at me with colorful eyes Tilda. Wow, what a sense of superiority. Thinking of this, Nami is very unconvinced Tilda. Wait a moment. Anything else? They don't know how to cook. Don't they have handsome gentlemen to serve beautiful women Tilda? This is the first time that Nami has used this kind of active way to tease her. She has already spoken, but her heart is jumping. Damn it, you want me to do this to such an extent? See if you don't surrender this time Tilda. However, Liu Olan just shrugged his shoulders and said lightly, remember to wash the dishes after eating. After saying this, Liu Olan went straight to the hatch Tilda. Ah Tilda? Nami was dumbfounded when the moist mouth opened slightly Tilda. You guy, you are so handsome, why don't you know how to be sympathetic? Question mark. It's really annoying! Exclamation mark. Damn it! Such a beautiful woman is ignored in front of her, is she a man Tilda? Stamping his little feet angrily, Nami stuffed a large piece of grilled fish into his mouth fiercely, his silver teeth fiercely biting the grilled fish, and said fiercely to Liu Lan's back, HMPH, kill you Tilda. Chapter 30 The Little Thieving Cat Steals Nami had half of Liu Lan's leftover grilled fish. While washing the dishes, I drew circles on the dishes and cursed Liu Lan Tilda. After finishing all this, Nami wondered what to do next. Wait until the next island to disembark, or... Thinking about these questions, Nami walked to the fore deck inadvertently. No, how could I feel compassion? They are pirates. The 100 million baileys can't be obtained by them farming and selling food. These three guys actually robbed so much money. If my little thieving cat doesn't do justice for the sky, how can I make it through? This money, I, Nami, want it. The more she thought about it, the more excited she became. Nami happily waved her small fist. Just after she finished speaking, she seemed to have caught sight of something out of the corner of her eye, which caused her to mention it viciously. Exclamation mark. Slowly tilt your head and look to the right tilde. I saw Luffy sitting the reading comics. What? Exclamation mark. It's over, it's over, it's over. Exclamation mark. He should have heard what I just said, right? Why hasn't he shot at me yet? Nami stood there with a guilty conscience and didn't dare to move. But after a while, she didn't wait for Luffy's request. So she carefully aimed at Luffy again. Huh? This guy is engrossed in reading comics. Could it be? Didn't he hear what I just said to myself? Thinking of this, Nami decided to try it out. Coming to Luffy's side, Nami pretended to be curious and asked, Hey, straw hat kid, what are you looking at? Luffy is quietly collecting experience in the Xantong world at this time. How could he respond to Nami? It's so fascinating to watch. Seeing Luffy like this, Nami felt relieved. Then, she looked around on the fore deck and found Zora sitting on the mast reading comics. Strange Tilda. When did pirates start reading comics? Nami said he couldn't understand, and many more. Suddenly, a flash of inspiration flashed in the big wine red eyes. That's right. They read the comics so seriously, isn't it a good time for me to steal? Ah, uh, do justice for the sky? Nice. These two fools are really good together. Creeping off the fore deck, Nami slipped into the cabin. Apart from her, there were only three people on board. The two of them are outside, as long as they avoid Liu Olan now. The whole ship will look like a girl without clothes, and there is no way to stop Nami. As a professional thief, Nami moves very quickly. She searched from room to room. Stepping out of a door, Nami's little feet came back again. She looked in through the crack of the door, 
and immediately saw a figure that made her teeth itch with hatred tilde. I didn't expect a guy like him to be a cartoonist. Seeing Liu Olan concentrating on drawing manga, Nami felt a little different. It suddenly occurred to her that Luffy and Zoro were reading comics right now, so they were fans of Liu Olan. Unexpectedly, he is so talented. I have to say that when a man is concentrating on one thing, he is really attractive, especially a handsome and sunny man like Liu Olan, when he concentrates. He is so handsome! Exclamation mark. What? What am I thinking? Exclamation mark. I'm a thief. It's really disrespectful to money to think about other things while the stealing is in progress. Exclamation mark. After some serious self-criticism, Nami looked away. Just glanced at it. There is no place to hide money in the studio. The baby is definitely not here. Leaving the corridor, Nami continued to walk towards the interior of the cabin. Stepping through a door, what looks like a living area inside. Luffy, Zora, Liu Lan. Nami looked at the nameplates pasted on the doors of the rooms in front, and showed a funny smile. There are only three people on board and they still have to put a nameplate on the door of the room. In such a small place, is it possible that people are afraid of getting lost? Nami secretly cursed in her heart, thinking that these three people are so strange. But in fact, if Nami knew that the nameplates on the doors of these three rooms were really posted because someone would get lost, I'm afraid she would be amazed. I searched Luffy's room first, but found nothing. Then there is Zora's room, which can be seen at a glance. Finally arrived at Liu Olan's room. As soon as he entered the door, Nami's gaze could not help but sweep to the corner. There, three large treasure chests are placed side by side. It's actually hiding here. With anticipation, Nami dodged in. He came to the first big treasure chest and pulled the lock spring forcefully. Probably the contents of the box are too full, and a corner has just been opened. Crash. A bunch of things fell out. Tilda. What? What is this Tilda? Blind my dog? Eyes Tilda. Nami's eyes only drifted to this falling thing for a moment, and he couldn't move away anymore. Exclamation mark. Bailey, Bailey, exclamation mark. That stacks of bundled Baileys, exclamation mark. Bailey, Nami has done countless things Tilda, just like the old accountant. She only took a cursory glance, and she knew that there were at least a million Baileys in these stacks of large value Baileys, exclamation mark. This is just a gap in the lid of the box, and nearly a million Baileys have already fallen out. Then in this big treasure chest, in these three big treasure chests, Nami's little heart jumps wildly, exclamation mark. The next moment. The big treasure chest was completely open tilde, hiss, exclamation mark. Ranami, who has already stolen tens of millions of Baileys, couldn't help but gasp at this moment, exclamation mark. Open the second treasure chest, hiss, exclamation mark. Nami takes another breath, the third, hiss, exclamation mark. She still sucks tilde, after taking three breaths, Nami is already in a daze tilde, is this a dream? She pinched her thigh hard, what? The severe pain made her understand, enough, enough. The joy of happiness crawled all over her little face irresistibly, and she threw herself directly on the full Bailey, feeling the warmth of Bailey with her heart tilde. With this money, the 100 million Baileys promised to the evil dragon will definitely be collected. Fathers and folks in Kokosha village, wait for me tilde, I will rescue you from the shadow of Merlick's oppression. After caressing these Baileys wantonly, Nami suddenly woke up. Ah! I almost got carried away. I have to get these Baileys away before they find out. Quickly cover the lid of the treasure chest and lock it tightly. Nami grabs the handle of the treasure chest and drags it hard. On the slender arms, under the force, the rather beautiful lines are clearly visible. Only, she had never stolen such a large amount of money at once, so it was the first time she knew that so much money was really heavy! Exclamation mark. Even with all his strength, he only moved the first treasure box less than a foot away. But Nami did not give up. This money! is carrying the hope of the entire Kokosa village. Now that it is in front of her eyes, she will never give up no matter what. Shaking her two sore arms, she took a deep breath and grabbed the handle of the treasure chest again tilde. Just as he was about to use his strength, another very handsome man's palm landed on the handle of the treasure chest. Do you need help? The sound is so nice that it warms Nami's heart. She responded subconsciously. Yeah. Chapter 31 Tell me, is this something people do? Thank you so much for helping me. Nami is happy to have help. But just as she spoke, she suddenly realized something was wrong. Turn around suddenly, in the field of vision, there appeared a handsome sunny face, which also made Nami's teeth itch with hatred tilde. What? After all, it was a guilty conscience. Nami turned her head and met Liu Olan's eyes. She screamed in shock and sat down on the treasure chest behind her. Damn bastard. Why is it like a ghost? It scares people to death. Liu Olan looked into Nami's eyes, then shifted his gaze down, and finally landed on Nami's pair of long skirts. Not bad, they are long and fair. They are a pair of good legs. Liu Olan praised without hesitation. You. What are you doing Tilda? Being looked at by Liu Olan like this, Nami was really a little scared. Although she has been wandering in this sea for a long time, she is not a casual girl. Even in the face of the sunny and handsome Liu Olan, Nami will only arouse the hearts of girls at most. 
but it will never let her innocence be tarnished. Facing Nami like this, Liu Lan suddenly became black-bellied. He rubbed his chin, returned his eyes to Nami's heart with great interest, and said with a smile, according to the practice of the pirate world, at this time, shouldn't I just pounce on you and teach you how to be a woman? Question mark. You. How dare you? Nami shrank back subconsciously, and her little hand was also conditioned to cover her heart. The other hand is hidden behind the back tilde. Wow, such a lovely and pitiful girl. If I don't pounce on her, then... Speaking of this, Liu Lan suddenly showed a playful smile. Then I won't be fooled by you. Hey hey tilde. Liu Lan's sudden turning point made Nami unexpected. Exclamation mark. As if Liu Lan had seen through her little thoughts, she had been pretending to be nervous for the first time, and for the first time there was real tension on her face. This man, how so smart? Okay, there's no need to pretend. You are the famous little thief cat of East Blue. How can you be too scared to move when you are facing such a situation? Liu Lan still had that spring-like smile on his face. He took a step forward, and his body was close to Nami, almost close to each other. He glanced at Nami's arm hidden behind him, and then looked into Nami's eyes. Is there something in that hand? I hope it's not a murder weapon. Hearing Liu Lan's words, Nami's pretty cheeks suddenly showed a touch of surprise. But then, she quickly adjusted her mind, grinned and smiled softly. He he, I was discovered by you. But, I never thought of killing people. I just want you, a big villain who doesn't know how to be sympathetic, to sleep well. It's just to sleep. As he said that, Nami's little hand hidden behind him flicked forward. A handful of red smoke powder was thrown towards Liu Lan. Aren't you? Liu Lan coincidentally sneezed. All the smoke powder was blown towards Nami Tilda. What? Faced with such a situation, Nami exclaimed subconsciously. However, this mouth just sucked in all the smoke powder. You can. Lifting Unan's arm, just as Nami's fingers were lifted up, she suddenly swayed, and passed out with an Tilda. Can I? The method of elimination must not be hateful, other things are optional Tilda. Thinking this way wishfully, Liu Olan looked at Nami's face smeared with smoke powder, and simply acted like a gentleman, wiping off the smoke powder on her face. When you are in danger, you just choose the drowsy powder. You really are a cute little thief. Liu Olan smiled gently, then glanced at the time. It was almost time to rest. Dot. Time flies, and the next morning arrives. Matilda. Nami's slender body frowned slightly, and let out a hum. Slowly opening her eyes, she rubbed her dizzy head with her hands. Turning his head, he saw that under his body was Bailey! Exclamation mark. Hey Tilda, only then did she realize that she was still in the same posture when she passed out, lying on Bailey all the time Tilda. I looked in the box, and more than 100 million Baileys are still there, and many more, exclamation mark. Suddenly, Nami thought of a terrible thing. He quickly opened his collar and looked inside, then reached out and tugged at his shorts. After checking it carefully again, Nami let out a long sigh of relief Tilda. But then, she turned her head Tilda. I saw you Olan sleeping soundly on the bed, Nanny, question mark. Nami really has to doubt life, exclamation mark. I am such a flowery girl lying in front of me, this hateful bastard didn't touch me, question mark. She didn't want to be caught by that tilde, it's just that when she didn't resist, the other party didn't do anything, which made Nami too unconvinced, exclamation mark. Ming Ming had previously praised her for being long and fair, which is perfect. Why do you not act when the opportunity is right in front of you, question mark. Is it really me, Nami, who is too unattractive, question mark. I. Nami, can't be that bad. I'm furious! Exclamation mark. Immediately, Nami got down from the treasure chest, wanting to beat Liu Olan up. However, her movements seemed to be a little louder, causing Liu Olan to turn over and open his eyes leisurely. Oh Tilda? Are you awake? Sitting up from the bed, Liu Olan rubbed his sleepy eyes. He looked at the time, and it was time to get up. Seeing Liu Olan's casual look, Nami was even angrier. She didn't even have time to put on her shoes, so she rushed up to Liu Olan barefoot and asked. You dot 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 you didn't take the opportunity to touch me yesterday, um? Liu Olan has a question mark on his face tilde. He looked up at Nami who was standing in front of him with a confused face. What do you mean? Could it be that you still want me to do something about you? Ah, no. Nami also realized that he asked an outrageous question, and his cheeks flushed with embarrassment. She quickly changed the subject. You hateful guy, you sleep on the bed by yourself. But let me, a weak girl, sleep on Bailey, it's too hateful. First, Sleeping on more than 100 million baileys is something that no one else dares to dream about. I let you sleep for one night for free. Are you not happy? Second, this is my room. If I don't sleep on the bed, can I sleep outside? While speaking, Liu Lan walked to the cabinet next to him. He opened the cabinet door, took out the powdered milk, picked up the kettle and made a cup of warm milk. Then he walked up to Nami with a cup of warm milk. Nami was secretly happy Tilda. Ham Tilda. The mouth is so cold. But isn't it very heartwarming to make hot milk for others? But the ecstasy only lasted a second. Because the next second Tilda, Liu Lan took a sip of hot milk, 
and then continued to criticize the girl in front of him. It's you, we rescued you from the sea with good intentions, but you want to steal our money? Tell me, is this something people did? I, Nami originally wanted to blame Liu Olan for not breastfeeding her, but now she blushed when she heard Liu Olan's serious questioning. Chapter 32 She just wants to cry in this man's arms. When someone saves me, I think about stealing their money. Speaking of which, this is really not something people do tilde. Listening to Liu Olan's criticism, Nami suddenly felt flushed tilde. In the early morning at sea, the temperature is very low. Even in the cabin, it is still cool tilde. Nami, who was caught in moral condemnation, didn't know whether it was because of guilt or cold air. Her delicate body couldn't help but shivered tilde. She didn't know how to face Liu Olan's question, so she shifted the tropic to Liu Olan. In such a cold weather, if you let a girl lie down like this all night, and you don't know how to cover her with a blanket, aren't you afraid that she will catch a cold? Dot. Liu Olan smiled lightly tilde. What a cunning little thieves, it's very slippery to change the subject with one hand. However, he could also see that Nami had been lying like this for a night, and the cold was indeed entering his body, and he might catch a cold at any time. After thinking for a while, Liu Olan handed the milk in his hand to Nami, let's drink some hot milk first. Hey hey, this is what you drank just now. Glancing at the milk still sliding down the side of the glass, Nami's eyes widened. Yesterday you let people eat your leftover grilled fish, but today you want them to drink your leftover milk. When did I, Nami, ever do such a thing? Oh, forget it. Liu Olan's eyebrows moved slightly, and he wanted to withdraw his hand. No, I want it. Seeing that Liu Olan was really going to take it back. Nami took it over immediately with quick eyesight and quick hands. If it's not really hungry and cold, people don't want to drink what you left. Aggrieved and complained, Nami gulped down the hot milk. Probably because she was really hungry and cold, Nami drank too fast, so that a stream of milk overflowed from the corner of her mouth and flowed down to her fair neck tilde. Wipe. Watching this scene, an educational film by Mr. Fukado appeared unconsciously in Liu Olan's mind. Isn't it the temptation of milk? Ah my body is much warmer tilde. Wiping the milk from the corner of his mouth. Nami handed the cup to Liu Olan, more, want more? If Fukada sensei says more, that's fine Tilda. You drink so crisply, aren't you afraid that I'll poison it? Liu Olan put the cup aside and looked at Nami playfully. Nami shook his head, why are you afraid? If you want to harm me, you can just do it when I was asleep, why bother now? Liu Olan smiled, oh Tilda? From this point of view, your evaluation of me is not bad. Huh. Seeing Liu Olan's fart, Nami pouted slightly and gave him a blank look. After that, she still couldn't help being curious and asked again, what kind of person are you? In the situation last night, you didn't touch anyone. You're really a strange person. Could it be that I Nami sucks? Impossible. Although I am very glad that I am still a perfect body, but Nami wants to find out, is it because the other party looks down on her? Still thinking about this. Liu Olan is also speechless Tilda. He shrugged, you seem to want me to do something to you? Ha question mark Tilda. Nami blushed immediately, and said angrily, what? I just, after thinking about it, it seems that it is really strange to ask this question all the time Tilda. I just think your behavior is too unlike a pirate, so I'm curious. Actually, this is the first time I've been in such a passive situation after being a thief for so long. I was scared to death, but now that you're like this, I really don't know whether I should be afraid. It seems to be blaming Liu Olan, but it seems to be showing Liu Olan that Shinami is still innocent Tilda. Well, there was a faint smile on his handsome face. Liu Olan was silent for two seconds, and then said with a smile. Then don't you want to be glad that you met me this time? Yeah, if it's another pirate, then I'm finished. Pirates in the sea, one is more vicious than the other, and one is worse than the other. Even now, Nami still has lingering fears. Okay, it's almost time for me to draw comics, I have to go to the studio. If you still want to drink milk, you can make it yourself. By the way, don't forget to wash my cup. Liu Olan glanced at the wind-up clock on the wall. It's time Tilda. Hey, seeing that Liu Olan was about to leave. Nami suddenly yelled, what? Liu Olan said, while folding the blanket. Nami rushed behind Liu Olan, you can't leave, I have a question and I must ask it clearly. Ask. Liu Olan put the blanket and pillow away together without looking up. You saved me. But I want to steal your money. According to common sense, if you caught me, even if you didn't do anything to me, you would beat me, scold me, or even kill me. But why? Not only did you not do this, but you didn't even blame me at all. Why is that? This doubt has been stuck in Nami's heart and she will not feel well if she doesn't ask clearly. It's like a child who has made a mistake, ready to accept his father's punishment anytime and anywhere. But dad never mentioned the punishment, which made Nami's heart hang tilde. Only those who have experienced this feeling know how uncomfortable it is. Hearing this, Liu Olan stood up and turned to look at Nami standing behind him. Nami also looked at Liu Olan, waiting for his answer. However, Liu Olan didn't answer, just looked into Nami's eyes. You dot 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 why are you staring at her like this? 
she's a girl, feeling Liu Olan's unscrupulous gaze, Nami was at a loss tilde, Liu Olan smiled and said, why don't you tell me first, why does a beautiful girl like you want to be a villain that everyone hates, pretty girl, I'll just say it, how could I, Nami, not attract him, exclamation mark, looks like this guy has a good eye tilde, what are you thinking about, seeing Nami laughing and having a strange expression, Liu Olan wondered, ah tilde, Nami woke up from the wild thoughts, but just met Liu Olan's close gaze, and suddenly felt guilty tilde, me, she faltered, her mind went blank, for Liu Olan's problem, she could have made up a lie at will to deal with it, however, at this moment, she found that she couldn't organize any lies in her mind, more importantly, there was a voice in her heart telling herself that she didn't want to deceive Liu Olan, the secret is a secret tilde, but if there is someone to confide in the secrets that are kept in the bottom of my heart, wouldn't that be a kind of happiness, after a fierce ideological struggle in his mind, Nami took a deep breath, suddenly raised his head, met Liu Olan's gaze, and lightly parted his red lips, if I tell you, I actually stole money to save many, many people, do you believe, after speaking, Nami's petite heart became uneasy, this is a secret she has always kept, but when this secret is told, the logic is outrageous tilde, I'm afraid a hundred out of a hundred people don't believe it tilde, I didn't lie this time, but will he believe it, I believe you, Liu Olan gave his answer without any hesitation, huh, do you believe it, Nami's eyes widened in disbelief, she didn't understand why Liu Olan would choose to believe her, and there was no hesitation, is it because I'm pretty, do not, if it's because of this, then I was given that by Liu Olan last night tilde, you dot 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 do you really believe it, I'm a little thief, I believe you, Liu Olan answered firmly again, he smiled, put his hand on Nami's fragrant shoulder, and said in a soft voice, you know what, everyone can lie, but a person's A's can't lie, just now I see honesty in your eyes when you speak, well, the slender palm covered the red porch, and Nami's eyes turned red in an instant tilde, ever since the dragon pirates occupied Kokosa village, Nami's life has been shrouded in shadow, in order to save everyone, Nami bears the infamy alone, bears the accusations and incomprehension of everyone alone, for so many years, she would only cry secretly in the dead of night to relieve her in a grievance and pain, no one believed her, no one understood her, however at this moment, this handsome and sunny man in front of him, although he just met her for the first day, he chose to believe her without hesitation just by seeing the honesty in her eyes, for Nami who has experienced so much suffering, Liu Olan's words are like a ray of sunshine in a stormy weather, breaking through the obstruction of clouds and mist, reaching Nami's heart directly, bringing her a warmth that she has never experienced tilde, along the way, Nami is too wronged, too wrong tilde, at this time, I suddenly got this kind of care and trust that I didn't dare to expect at ordinary times, and all the grievances and pain that had accumulated in my heart were released at once, wow, she opened her arms, threw herself into Liu Olan's arms, buried her little face on Liu Olan's shoulders, tears gushed out like a fountain tilde, the weak body was trembling non-stop, at this moment Nami completely forgot everything tilde, dragon pirates, Kokosa village, Nuoki Gao, Bel Mao, Bailey, Dot, not important tilde, nothing matters anymore, exclamation mark, she just wanted to cry in this man's arms, chapter 33 the bond of caring for each other, until now, I have been with the dragon pirates for eight years, sitting side by side on the bed, Nami shared her story with Liu Lan, being able to tell the story in her heart, Nami feels unimpeded like never before tilde, speaking of this, Nami suddenly imitated the movement of a cat's claw with his small fist, and said cutely, so, although I am a thief, I have never stolen money from ordinary people tilde, so, you wanted to steal our money because we were pirates, Liu Olan smiled and asked, Nami nodded, with a playful smile on his face, that's right, because pirates are bad people, stealing their money is considered a good deed, hearing this, Liu Olan didn't agree, I don't agree with what you said, who said that pirates are all bad guys, of course, where can there be good people in pirates, especially those vicious bastards of the murlocs and pirates, they brought disaster to my hometown. As soon as he said this, Nami thought of the dead Belma aunt, and his eyes turned red again. What about me? Liu Olan pointed to himself. If pirates don't have good people, am I not human? Not counting. Nami replied without hesitation. Why? Liu Olan shrugged and gestured for Nami to explain. Nami pointed to the corner of the room. Those pale, there are more than 100 million. Didn't you snatch them from the civilians along the way? Of course not. Liu Olan shook his head. These are all the stolen money that Colonel Mengke captain of the marine base in Shield Town, has seized from the captured pirates over the years, marine, wait, you said Munker, hearing the name clearly, Nami looked surprised, how could that guy who is called the taboo of Shield Town give you the stolen money, it seems that you also know his notoriety, yes, he did a lot of evil in Shield Town, killing innocent people, Luffy and I went to rescue Zora and defeated him, the marines and civilians there were liberated, then we distributed the stolen money from the civilians to the civilians, and the stolen money seized from the pirates was taken by us, Liu Olan explained, you actually defeated Munker, after listening to Liu Olan's words, 
Nami opened her mouth and was even more shocked. Liu Lan nodded. Yes, it's not a secret. East Blue's news agency should have published this matter in the newspapers in the near future. Then you will know that what I said is true. Oh, no, number. I didn't doubt you. I was just too surprised. For a man who believed so much in himself, how could Nami doubt him? Moreover, Nami was very happy to learn that Bailey in Liu Lan's room was just stolen money from Pirates Tilda. Um Tilda, sure enough, I was right about him. You guys are amazing. Nami gave a thumbs up with envy and admiration in her eyes. If they can help me, do not. No Tilda. As soon as the idea of asking Liu Olan for help came into his mind, Nami immediately drove this absurd idea out of his mind. Although that Menka is powerful, he is far behind the people of the Dragon Pirates! Exclamation mark. If Marine works, how could the Dragon Pirates have been endangering the Jumida Islands for so many years? They can defeat Colonel Munker, but the Murlocs are born ten times stronger than humans. If they really went to the other side's dragon, wouldn't that kill them? No 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 Tilda. Nami resolutely denied the idea of asking for help, and she has her own plan, and sooner or later she can redeem the village. Nami's heart skipped a beat as his gaze inadvertently landed on the treasure chest full of Baileys. Correct. If you can borrow money from Liu Olan, then. Thinking of this, although Nami couldn't tell, but for the sake of the village, she still blushed and spoke. Liu Olan, can you lend me some money? After saying this, Nami quickly lowered his head. She knew that what she said was too abrupt and the other party had no reason to lend it to her. She wanted to steal money before, even if Liu Olan refused her, she didn't have any complaints. Is it to redeem the village? Well, I've saved a lot of money, but I'm still short of 40 million perlies. I know it's a lot of money, but trust me, I'll definitely pay you back. It's always difficult to talk about things like borrowing money. Probably worried that Liu Olan would not agree, Nami hurriedly added. Don't worry, I won't run away. If I can't pay back, even if I work for you all my life. Work to earn a living? Impossible. Impossible in a lifetime. You are a partner of our straw hat pirates. Liu Olan shook his head. It's impossible to borrow money. Nami's heart went cold. Really? How could anyone be willing to borrow so much money? But just a second after her sadness, Liu Olan's hand fell on her shoulder. But, the matter of the dragon pirates is on us. Ah, Tilda? About the dragon pirates? No, 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 no. Not only did Nami not have any joy, but his face became tense. She refused straight away. If you don't want to borrow money, I have no complaints. But you really don't care about the Dragon Pirates. Are you worried that we are not the opponents of the Dragon Pirates? It can be seen that Nami does not want to protect the Dragon Pirates, but lacks awareness of the current strength of the Straw Hat Pirates. This lovely girl actually didn't want them to send her to death. Although you defeated Munker, you don't understand the power of Murlocs at all. Those guys' physique is more than ten times that of humans. If you meet them, you will definitely be killed by them. Nami didn't want to hide anything, so she told Liu Olan directly and warned Liu Olan not to be overwhelmed. You don't have to worry about this. I've heard of those guys from the Dragon Pirates. We can completely solve it. At this point, Liu Olan is not worried. Even in the original plot, as long as the members of the Straw Hats remain the same, they can defeat the Dragon Pirates. And now Tilda, our captain has already turned on the third gear. How many rotten fish and shrimps are you in immune to death? To put it bluntly, it's not enough to fit between the teeth! Exclamation mark. I won't listen. You don't understand Murlocs at all. Anyway, I don't need your help in my affairs. I can make enough money by saving slowly. Nami simply covered her ears, put her legs in her arms, and buried her head in her knees. No matter what you say, I will not agree. I. How could I watch you go to die? Seeing Nami's insistence, Liu Lan was still very moved. Although the method is wrong, Nami is really thinking about the few members of their straw hat pirates. After thinking about it, Liu Lan didn't want to argue about it anymore. Since you want to use money to solve it, then give you money. Anyway. In the end you will find that money can't solve the problem of the dragon pirates at all. At that time, we still have to rely on our fists. Turning his head to look at the cute Nami who was covering her ears, Liu Olan reached out and grabbed her little hand, opened it, and said with a smile, Okay, then I will lend you the money. No, no, no. Nami thought that Liu Olan was going to insist on fighting the dragon pirates, but when he was about to refuse, he realized that something was wrong. Really dot 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 really. After thinking about it, Nami felt that asking the other party to borrow money in such a situation seemed to be a moral kidnapping, so he pursed his lips, if it is very reluctant, I don't need it. Reluctantly? 100 million pell and 50 million pell are the same for us, and they are enough for us to spend anyway. As for you, didn't you say that? If you can't pay the money, you can work for us. This condition I accepted. Liu Olan smiled wryly Tilda. Borrowing money and comforting the borrower, I, the creditor, should. As soon as these words came out, Nami was completely moved. Liu Olan. I, I, I. Nami's mouth trembled with excitement, and he couldn't even speak fluently. With money, the goal she has been striving for for so many years can be realized. With money, her miserable days in the Dragon Pirates will be over. With money, the village can be reborn! Exclamation mark.
Thousands of words finally merged into one sentence, thank you. Woo woo woo, Nami was made to cry again Tilda, crying again. You little thief, Leo Lan smiled, turned Nami's head and pressed it on his shoulder. Chapter 34 I'm very angry now, a few days later Tilda, on a misty morning. The pirate ship docked in Orange Town. The members of the Straw Hats disembarked to purchase. At noon, Liu Olan returned to the pier. He mainly bought some daily necessities and fruits. After getting on the deck and putting the things down, Liu Olan saw that Luffy had returned. Beside him were two large sacks of meat. Haven't the two of them come back yet? Glancing at the deck, Liu Olan wondered. Is it taking so long to buy something? I didn't see it. I guess it's almost here. Luffy is taking a nap with his hands behind his head. Not good. Suddenly, Liu Olan slapped his back and shouted. How did I forget? Zora is a road idiot. How can I let him act alone? But, what about Nami? It can't be another crime of stealing, can it? It shouldn't be. She stole money for the sake of the village, and now that I have agreed to lend her money, she has no reason to steal. Luffy changed his posture, turned his legs up and said, although Zora is a road idiot, this small town is not big, and the main thing is that two roads meet in the middle, and then lead directly to the pier. Zora will not find not on the road. Leo Lan said seriously, no. He really can't find it. Luffy has only been with Zora for a few days now, so naturally he has no idea how crazy Zora is. But Liu Olan knew that Zora's Lukai has reached a certain level. Exclamation mark. People often say that there are no roads in the world, and if there are many people walking, the road will become a road. But here in Zora, no matter how many roads there are in the world, as long as he walks, there will be no roads soon Tilda, as long as there is a way. He will lose it. Stop squinting, let's find someone. Liu Olan pulled Luffy up and got off the boat. The two came to the middle of the intersection, where there were several stores. Old man, did you see a green-haired swordsman and a girl with orange hair? Came to the door of a noodle shop, Liu Olan sounded. The boss shook his head, I didn't see it, but people from the buggy pirates came here just now. They seem to be looking for someone called Nami. I wonder if it's the two people you mentioned? What? The buggy pirates are looking for Nami. Hearing this, Liu Olan's face suddenly became serious. He is very angry. What did the buggy pirates come to Nami for, other than because things were stolen by Nami? Apparently, Nami is stealing again. Even though they have already borrowed money, they still want to steal. Is it true that the legendary thief does not change? Go, we have to save Nami. Liu Olan pulled Luffy up and ran outside. Hey, hey, that's the buggy pirates. Seeing that the two of them were going to find the buggy pirates, the owner of the noodle shop immediately wanted to tell them how terrible the buggy pirates were. However, Liu Olan's speed was too fast, and he disappeared at the door in an instant. As for where is the buggy pirates, it doesn't need to be told by others. Liu Olan is a traveler and knows the location. After running for a distance, he bumped into Zora who was running towards him. Hey, hey, we found you guys. The woman on our boat was captured by the buggy pirates. Let's save her. Zora grabbed Liu Olan and Luffy and ran towards the noodle shop. Idiot, the buggy pirates are here. Liu Olan pointed to the direction behind Zora, with black lines on his face. Dot. To the east of town. This is the home base of the Buggy Pirates. Damn thief. He actually stole my Uncle Buggy's nautical chart. That is an important thing for me to return to the Grand Line in the future. Buggy was furious, walking up and down the yard. Don't tell me, right? Hit me, beat me to death, pointing at the captured villagers. He angrily reprimanded. These villagers were randomly arrested along the way, and Buggy didn't know if they knew about Nami's whereabouts. Anyway, they beat them first. Snapped. As soon as Cabbage whipped it down, one of the villagers immediately wailed. Stop beating. I should have seen it. Say, where is it? Buggy's palm flew out, lifting the villager up through the air. The villager grinned in pain, and said with horror on his face, I saw her running back to you just now. Run back here. Hearing this, Buggy's eyes were sharp, and he swept around the yard. Suddenly, his eyes stopped on a big box. The position of this big box seems to be different from before. Buggy immediately ordered, come on, pull out the buggy cannon and blast this box. Ah, no exclamation mark. Suddenly there was a girl's scream in the box. And then Nami was seen crawling out from above. It's actually a chick. Ah ha ha. It's still pretty. Ta tsk tsk tilde. All the pirates in the yard suddenly showed red eyes. Seeing Nami, Buggy suddenly showed fierceness, and said coldly, Dare to steal Lozi's things. Fk me. His palm flew out immediately, and the dagger he held hit Nami's chest. What? Nami never expected that Buggy would kill without saying a word without even giving him a chance to escape Tilda. In order to avoid the knife thrower, Nami jumped and jumped towards a box next to him. But this one holding the flying hand actually turned a corner in the air and came chasing after Nami. It's over! Exclamation mark. Seeing the knife flying from behind, Nami felt a chill in her heart. She was still in the air, unable to change direction at all. And that knife flew extremely fast. If the other party doesn't show mercy, she will definitely die. Facing this moment of life and death, Nami is extremely sad. Kokoxia village was about to be saved, 
but she died at this time. The villagers never had a chance to be free again, and she came to steal the nautical chart not for herself, but because she heard from Liu Olan these days that they were going to the Grand Line. For the Grand Line, Nami knows something. She knew that without the Grand Line's charts, it would be very difficult for the ship to get there. Liu Olan promised to lend her money to redeem the village, and in return, Nami decided to steal a blueprint of the Grand Line for Liu Olan. But she never thought that she would fall down this time. Liu Olan, by the time you see my dead body, I'm sure I won't be able to explain it to you. You will definitely think that I have not changed my thieves and come to steal money again, right? Hey, Liu Olan, if possible, I really don't want to be misunderstood by you Tilda. You are the first person who is willing to believe me just by looking at me, how I want to see you again before I die. Thinking of this, Nami suddenly saw the appearance of Liu Olan in front of him. It's great, I can still see you before I die, I'm satisfied. Although it is an illusion, it is also very satisfying. Although I am very angry now. I will deal with you later. To Nami's surprise, the hallucination actually spoke Tilda. But the next moment, she was shocked. Exclamation mark. No Tilda, this is not an illusion. Exclamation mark. The pretty cheeks that were originally full of sadness suddenly burst into excitement and joy. Ah, Liu Olan, you came to save me? Nonsense. If I don't come, you will die. Liu Olan embraced Nami in midair, then stretched out his right hand and grabbed the flying dagger. Chapter 35 True One Sword Styles Aura There's actually a helper. They're all going to die for me. Buggy flipped his other palm, and three daggers with a cold glow suddenly flipped out. With a whoosh, it was thrown out. The minibus throwing knife, without fail. Exclamation mark. The three knives went straight to Nami and Liu Lan. Liu Lan be careful. Nami was still very clever, and immediately discovered Buggy's shot. When, with the light of the knife, Zora's figure appeared in front of the two of them, and the three daggers fell to the ground at the same time with one knife. Are you all here? Seeing that there are more and more people on his side, Nami feels more at ease. Nonsense. You are such a troublemaker, woman. Zora is also very angry. He also heard from passers-by before that buggy arrested Nami because Nami stole something. Wow. Finally caught up. Luffy bounced off the wall and landed next to Liu Olan and Nami. So many helpers. Good. Very good. Seeing the three extra people in front of him, Buggy smiled angrily and clapped his hands. Then, he gave an order. Give me all. Kill them all. Well done. Luffy rubbed his shoulders and was about to go to war immediately. But Zora stopped him. I'm so small, I don't need the captain's action. Question mark. Luffy froze for a moment. This seems to make sense. Liu Lan couldn't help complaining in his heart. It makes sense. It's clearly that green-haired nerd who has thought about the addiction to fighting, and so many prey alone. Clang! Exclamation mark. He Dao's words come out of the sheath. Exclamation mark. It was originally a three-sword style. But because the other two swords were smashed in the battle between Shields Town and Luffy, Zora only had one sword left. Brothers, he is alone, hack him, go. Dot. The minions of the buggy pirates rushed forward. Zora held the words of Hidao with both hands, and his steps were steady. One knife, a pirate fell to the ground. One knife, another pirate fell to the ground. One knife, pirates continued to fall to the ground. Dot. These pirates rushing towards Zora, in Zora's eyes, seemed to be wooden gillum piles one by one. All Zora has to do is slash down and then slash again. Don't look at the wooden gillum pile that he has only been splitting for a few days, but the flow of time in the comics is different from that in reality. Sometimes, Zora hacks and slashes for months before coming out of the comics, but the real world is only a short while away. Therefore, his current proficiency is not the proficiency of a few days, but the proficiency of several months, or even more than a year. Hey, what are you idiots doing? That guy only uses the same moves all the time. Are you idiots? Send them up one by one for him to chop. As the chief of staff of the buggy pirates, Cabbage is also a master of swords. But he looked at the situation in front of him and thought it was ridiculous. Exclamation mark. How can anyone keep doing the same slashing action from the beginning to the end? And what's even more outrageous is that the pirates on my side are all like idiots, and they just give away their heads one by one. Exclamation mark. Get out of the way. Kabaki was furious when he saw how good the little guys were. He rushed towards Zora on his unicycle. The chief of staff is here. Compared to playing with a knife, in front of the chief of staff, everyone else is weak. This green turtle is finished. Dot. Seeing that the third place in the family was shot, the pirates were all excited. Now that the chief of staff has made a move, the battle must be over soon. These little guys don't have to continue to die. As soon as he approached Zora, the unicycle under Cabbage's foot moved coquettishly, causing a lot of smoke to rise immediately. Acrobatics and steam murder case! Exclamation mark. A lot of smoke drifts towards Zora Tilda. This is the chief of staff's forte. Okay, the green-haired swordsman has no vision. It's really powerful. Dot. Amidst the applause and cheers of all the pirates, Cabbage's figure burst out from the water vapor and stabbed Zora straight in the face. Rush, Zora slashed with a knife Tilda. What exclamation mark. Cabbage screamed and was knocked to the ground. Exclamation mark. 
The cheers round suddenly stopped, replaced by the confused look on the faces of these pirates. What's the situation? Question mark. The chief of staff went up with a knife. Didn't we say that we are idiots, and we go up and be hacked by others like fools? Why do you go up with a knife? And they hacked in exactly the same way. We have been cheering for you for a long time, you are as good as us! Exclamation mark. Not only the pirates were stunned, but even Liu Olan was stunned. Why? What about Zora? Question mark. If I remember correctly, in the original plot, Zora and Cabbage should have fought back and forth, and finally won by a narrow margin. But why did Zora in front of him kill Cabbage with a single blow? Question mark. And what's with that weird slash? Could it be that Luffy smashed your two knives with one punch, and at the same time opened up your two channels of Ren and Do, allowing you to develop a peerless magic skill, one hit kill? It seems that in this world version, not only is Luffy launched early, but Zora is not too late! Exclamation mark. The Zora in front of me looks like the real one sword style Zora. There is no problem that cannot be solved with a knife tilde. Comfortable. It seems that I just need to brush my speed and defense with peace of mind, play support and so on and it will be stable. Zora slashed over Cabbage with a knife, and looked at the pirates in front of him. Since no one dared to move forward, Zora took the initiative to attack. One knife. One knife. The pirates were like wooden stakes, constantly falling under Zora's swinging knife. Bastard, let me deal with you. Buggy flew into a rage, his feet were still on the ground, but his body from the ankles up was flying. He flew sideways and spun rapidly, on both hands, elbows, knees, there is a dagger in each place. At such high speeds, Buggy is like a super dart! Exclamation mark. Whoosh whoosh! Exclamation mark. One knife. Buggy was split straight from it, split in half! Exclamation mark. Captain. The captain is dead? What? Dot. This scene scared all the pirates into stupidity! Exclamation mark. Chopping over Buggy, Zora didn't care about the so-called captain at all, who would pay attention to him for a price of one knife. But when Zora continued to attack other pirates, a palm flew out from Buggy's corpse and stabbed Zora's back from a tricky angle. You bastard, are you proud? It's a pity that there are too many idiots who died at the beckoning hands of my Uncle Buggy! Exclamation mark. With a thought, Buggy stabbed Zora's back fiercely. However, with a sudden effort, the blade can't move even an inch! Exclamation mark. Um, Buggy's head lying on the ground looked at his flying hand, and suddenly saw that Liu Olan had appeared here at some point. Liu Olan held Buggy's blade in his hand, but there was no sign of bleeding. For super defense, this blade is no different from mud. Hey, for a swordsman, the wound on the back is the shame of the swordsman. You red nose, don't use this sneak attack to attack a swordsman's back, so as to shame the swordsman. As he spoke, Liu Olan stepped on Buggy's red nose impartially. Alas! Exclamation mark. Buggy let out a piercing scream tilde. Chapter 36 Buggy Cannon Shoots Buggy. Um, only then did Zora notice that Buggy was not dead. If Liu Olan hadn't made a timely move just now, then his back would really be cut open by Buggy. As Liu Olan said, the wound on the back is the shame of a swordsman. So Buggy's sneak attack made Zora very angry. You bastard. Zora turned around, swung the knife in his hand, and chopped Buggy into pieces. But in the next moment, all the fragments of Buggy floated up, reorganizing a nearly complete body in the air. Why can't it be killed? Zora frowned slightly, puzzled. He is capable of splitting fruits, and slashing is ineffective against him. Liu Olan reminded. As soon as the words came out, Buggy became angry. You actually know my ability. You really planned to deal with me a long time ago. What are you talking about? We don't even know you. Luffy picked his nostrils and walked over. But, since slashing doesn't work for you, then try my fist. As he spoke, Luffy flicked his legs and jumped into the sky. Rubber bone balloon giant fist. In the air, Luffy blew on his finger, and his arm suddenly turned into a fist as big as a small hill. Nanny. Just looking at the size of the fist, Buggy's eyes almost popped out. He didn't even have time to dodge. His huge fist directly covered Buggy and then fell fiercely to the ground. What? Amidst Buggy's screams, the bone balloon came into close contact with the ground tilde. Boom! Exclamation mark. It seems like the whole island is shaking tilde. Boat dot 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 captain. Master Buggy dot 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 he dot 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 he dot 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 he won't die, will he? It's over. Dot. The surrounding pirates all lost their fighting spirit at once, and stood there looking at the ground that was punched into a big hole in horror. SHH tilde. The bone balloon deflated. Revealing a large crater in the ground. Pit Tilda. Buggy lay flat on all fours, breathing like a gossamer Tilda. How to deal with him? Luffy molded his chin, as if thinking, We can't let him go. He is a famous big pirate. I asked just now, he killed many people in this small town. Nami has always been jealous, and immediately made a suggestion. By the way, he was going to hit me with a buggy cannon just now. Thinking that he almost died just now, Nami suddenly became furious. If Liu Olan hadn't appeared in time, she would be a corpse now. Hey, hey. You are the one who stole our captain first. Seeing that his own captain is being convicted, 
The deputy captain Mochi hastened to stand up and redress Buggy. It makes sense. Nami stole your things. You want to catch her? That's fine. Liu Olan nodded. Huh? Nami looked at Liu Olan aggrievedly, but they are bad people in the first place. Stealing things from bad people is a good thing. Without listening to Nami's sophistry, Liu Olan looked at Mochi. But, she is our friend, and it's okay for us to save her friend. Then, is everyone clear? Mochi glanced at Buggy, and asked Liu Olan cautiously. Liu Olan said, our affairs are settled but you need to settle the matter of your buggy pirates harming Orange Town. Hey, kid, if you have something to say, say it. At this time, Buggy seemed to have recovered a little, and struggled on the ground. Now you know how to talk properly? Didn't you just want to bombard Nami with a cannon? Hearing this, Luo Lan smiled, knelt down and flicked Buggy's red nose with his hands. How could I spare you? Then what do you think? Are you going to kill me? Hey, hey, you can't joke about this kind of thing. Although Buggy is ruthless, it is only when facing the weak. At this time, his nose was bruised and his face was swollen, so he was naturally persuaded. Don't worry, there's no need to kill you. But, I came up with a good idea. Liu Olan's eyes fell on the buggy cannon not far away. Since you like bombarding people with buggy cannons, let yourself try it too. Moments later, Buggy's head and hands were stuffed into the barrel, stuffed full of bastard. Stop, inside the barrel, Buggy yelled frantically. Liu Olan pouted, then looked at Zora. Light it up. Good, every man has a cannon dream. Even for Zora who is a swordsman, it is enjoyable to fire the cannon himself at this time. Exclamation mark. Boom. Exclamation mark. With the roar of the cannon, Zora felt great. Still cannons are fun tilde. There is one more shot, Luffy. Do you want to try it? Liu Olan stuffed it into the cannon barrel while talking. It is good. Luffy rubbed his hands together, and immediately came to the cannon barrel. It's pretty dishonest. Liu Olan stuffed it a few times, but Buggy's legs protested frantically and kicked wildly almost hitting Liu Lan. Let me. Luffy kicks up and hits Buggy apostrophe s dot 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 brother exclamation mark. I saw that the two legs twitched suddenly, and then slid into the barrel with a brush. Hey, fire. Luffy showed a big white fang and ignited the fuse. Boom exclamation mark. Buggy's lower body also flew into the distance. Oh, that's bad. Luffy suddenly showed apology on his face. I seem to be launching from a different direction than Zora. It's okay, that's their concern. Liu Lan shrugged his shoulders then pointed to Moki and the others. Then he raised a finger to Mochi and others, and said, You have only one hour to move all the treasures here to our ship, then leave this island to find your captain. After an hour, if any of you haven't left, I'll send him thousands of miles away with the buggy cannon. When all the pirates heard this, they felt as if they had received an amnesty! Exclamation mark. One by one, they are busy rolling and crawling Tilda. At night Tilda, there is no longer any crew member of the buggy pirates in Orange Town. By the port, Several members of the Straw Hat Pirates are about to set off. At this time Tilda, a large number of townspeople from Orange Town rushed over, and they were carrying bacon, vegetables, eggs and other supplies in their hands, and they kept sending them to the boat of the Straw Hat Pirates. Enough is enough Tilda. Thank you Tilda. Hey, hey, it's really unnecessary. Ah, hello Tilda. Whose lily is here? We don't do human trafficking. Dot. In the grateful farewell of the townspeople, the Straw Hat Pirates left Orange Town. Chapter 37 Scoundrel Finally able to coax people Tilda. In the evening Tilda. Liu Olan finished his comic work for a day. Back in the room, Nami is sitting on his bed. Seeing Liu Olan come back, Nami immediately stood up. Liu Olan. The look of admitting his mistake was very much like a child who made a mistake. It turned out to be here. I said why I couldn't find you. Liu Olan closed the door with a cold tone. During the day, when everyone left Orange Town, Liu Olan planned to question Nami. But after returning to the boat, Nami took a bath escape and then stopped appearing in front of Liu Olan. Because Liu Olan maintains the habit of finishing a manga every day, Liu Olan doesn't waste time on hide and seek with Nami, since he can't escape on the boat anyway. But what he didn't expect was that the little thieving cat had been hiding in his room. Seeing Liu Olan walking towards him, Nami licked the red porch and lowered his head slightly. Know what I'm going to say? Liu Olan was a head taller than Nami. He stood in front of Nami, asked in a cold voice like a teacher punishing a student. Um, Nami nodded. Her posture became more and more cute Tilda. You, seeing Nami pleading guilty and accepting punishment like this, Liu Lan was really furious. He took a deep breath, put his hips on his hips and asked, Didn't you promise me not to steal money again? Sorry, I already know I was wrong Tilda. Nami put her two little hands on her heart, looking cute and pitiful. No, is it enough to know that one sentence is wrong? In the past, you stole things because you wanted to save money to save your hometown. I completely understand you. Now that I have promised to lend you money, why do you still want to steal money? If I didn't find out in time today, you might be dead already. Nami, you really disappointed me today. Dot. Probably because he cared, Liu Olan was very angry. After all, when I read comics before, as long as I was a pirate fan, I would sympathize with neighbor very much Tilda. But now Liu Olan came in by himself, 
only to find that the Nabao in everyone's mind is not as good as everyone thought, but a guy who never changes his character? Question mark. This feeling of disillusionment, the more the sea fan, the more uncomfortable it is. Listening to Liu Olan's harsh criticism, Nami not only didn't complain at all, but was very happy in her heart. Turn out to be, this guy cares about me so much. Especially Liu Olan's sentence. If I didn't find out in time today, you might have died, which really hit Nami's heart. Look, just say you care about me, only. People steal nautical charts for you, but you scold them indiscriminately tilde. The tone is still so fierce. Thinking of this, Nami felt wronged again, and suddenly, wow, Nami has a sore nose tilde. HMPH, let me cry for you. Cry, cry, cry. Do you think crying can erase your money theft? Speak. Why do you want to steal money? Liu Olan stared at Nami angrily. Nami raised his head, looking back at Liu Olan's eyes with a grieved bella. I dot 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 I didn't steal the money. No money stolen? Liu Lan frowned. Why did the buggy pirates arrest you? Nami's nose twitched, and he muttered, I dot 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 I stole an nautical chart. With that said, Nami molded a piece of crumpled paper and handed it to Liu Lan. Liu Lan opened it and saw that it was indeed a nautical chart. He wondered, why are you stealing this? Because you are going to the Grand Line. But the Grand Line is very dangerous. If there is no navigation chart of the Grand Line, no matter how experienced the old crew is, they would not dare to go to that sea area. So when I was shopping in Orange Town, I heard about it. The buggy guys are from the Grand Line, and I thought, they must have the Grand Line's nautical charts. Nami lowered his head and explained. You, hearing this, Liu Olan understood. Like Tilda. Looks like Tilda. Maybe Tilda. Did I blame Nami by mistake Tilda? At this time, Nami went on to say, anyway, I did steal again and let you down. Liu Olan, hit me. Saying that, Nami stretched out her little white hands as if she was an elementary school student waiting for punishment from her class teacher. I, now that things have been figured out, how can Liu Olan have the nerve to blame Nami? Not to mention punishment Tilda. And just now he reprimanded Nami very fiercely, presumably Nami is feeling aggrieved right now. Thinking of this, Liu Olan felt a pang of apology. Nami, the palm of his hand was gently wrapped around Nami's head, and with a little force, he pressed Nami's head into his arms. After adjusting his breathing and calming down, Liu Olan said sincerely in Nami's pink ear. I blamed you, he he tilde. The corners of Nami's mouth turned up slightly. A hint of happiness suddenly appeared in the wine red eyes that were like jewels. You bastard, you can finally coax people tilde. Chapter 38 Nami joins. Liu Olan hugged Nami for a while, patted her head lightly, and said softly, After you save your hometown, go to sea with us. Okay, regarding the matter of recruiting crew members, Liu Olan originally had a mentality of letting nature take its course. After all, that's what captains do. But where can things develop according to the ideal state? Something. Once you get to that point, it should be done in one fell swoop. Therefore, Liu Olan intends to step overboard this time and do what should be done by the captain. Anyway, when Luffy knew that Nami had a talent for sailing, he must have put on a face and asked Nami to join the Straw Hat Pirates. Since you have to add it sooner or later, come now Tilda. Let's go to sea together. Okay. Hearing Liu Olan's sincere invitation, Nami's body trembled slightly. It is good. I go to sea with you! Exclamation mark. How I want to answer you like this Tilda, but, I can't, although the village can be redeemed from the dragon pirates with 100 million baileys, Nami understands that the reason why the dragon agreed to her is because she is now a navigator of the dragon pirates. The dragon pirates are entrenched in East Blue in order to gather strength and return to the Grand Line. If Nami proposes to leave the dragon pirates, there is no doubt that the dragon will turn his face. At that time, Kokosa village will no longer have any possibility of freedom. Thinking of this, Nami stretched out her two arms and hugged Liu Olan tightly. She bit the red porch tightly and said with difficulty, No I prefer to stay in my hometown Tilda. Prefer to stay at home? Others may be fooled by this sentence, but Liu Olan will not. He knew how against Nami's will when he said this sentence. A person who has been interested in sailing since she was a child, you said she doesn't want to go to sea? Is it possible? As for why Nami categorically denied it, Liu Olan also fully understood that it was obviously because of the dragon pirates. But Nami didn't mention half a word about dragon pirates, why? Question mark. That's because Nami didn't want to involve Liu Olan and the others. Rather than enduring the pain herself and going against her own heart, Nami doesn't want to bring trouble to her benefactor who helped her. For this alone, Liu Olan deeply approves of Nami from the bottom of his heart. Really, the eyes of sea fans can't be wrong. It is not without reason that they can become the favorite of the straw hats. No. You're lying to me. Liu Olan stretched out his hand to lift Nami's little face out of his chest, then wiped away the tears on her face with his thumb, staring at her deeply. You're lying to yourself too. Seeing Liu Olan's gaze, Nami's heart trembled. Look. See through my heart, Artilda. How could I forget? This man said that a person's A's can't lie. He stared into my eyes. He must have seen through me Tilda, who would study navigation so much if it wasn't for going to sea to see the world. Nami, 
Tell me, you want to go to sea, right? Liu Olan asked seriously. I. Nami's mouth is trembling tilde. She couldn't admit it, but she didn't want to deceive Liu Olan anymore, so she immediately averted her eyes. However, Liu Olan held Nami's cheeks with a little force, so that she could not avoid her gaze, and said seriously again, as long as you tell me that you want to go to sea, I will take you out to sea. On this moving, pitiful face, grievances gushed out like a tide, but she still shook her head firmly, no dot 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 don't say any more, please, I really can't go to sea with you. As he spoke, tears rolled down his face. She didn't dare to look into Liu Olan's eyes anymore, is it because of the dragon pirates? Liu Olan asked in a deep voice, no. No, Nami raised his head abruptly, denying in shock, but before she had time to say more, the red porch was covered by two fingers of Liu Lan. Don't tell me, let me tell you. Are you worried that if I find out about the dragon pirates, our straw hat pirates will go to war with the dragon pirates? You are more worried, once the war starts, we will be killed by the murlocs of the dragon pirates. Nami, just because you can think like this, I can't sit idly by. Listen, Nami. We, the straw hat pirates, take care of the dragon pirates. What? Hearing this. Nami is completely desperate. She hurriedly shouted, No, Liu Olan, I beg you. Please don't provoke the dragon pirates. It was the first time that Nami cared so much about a man since growing up. It's not just because Liu Olan promised to lend him money. Along the way, Nami initially thought that Liu Olan was just a pirate, and gradually got to know Liu Olan. The marine monk who ruled evil has been wiped out Tilda. Clean up the big pirate buggy who caused harm to one side Tilda didn't take advantage of her coma tilde. All of this makes Nami deeply approve of Liu Olan. More importantly, the man in front of him is still willing to believe her. Nami cherishes such a person. Although they knew that Liu Olan, Luffy, and Zoro were not weak, even the big pirate buggy was easily defeated by them. But Nami still didn't want them to take the risk of dealing with the dragon pirates. Because once they are no longer the opponents of the dragon pirates, they will definitely die if they fall into the hands of the murlocs. Nami doesn't know exactly what kind of feelings she has for Liu Olan, but she is sure that she absolutely doesn't want anything to happen to the man in front of her. The god breathed out, and Nami suddenly grabbed Liu Olan's hands. Liu Olan, listen to me. Just send it to my Kokosa village, and then you should leave quickly. I will bless you in Kokosa village. It's not up to you to decide, Nami. Liu Olan smiled and shook his head, then held Nami's face, and said seriously, what I have already decided will not change. The navigator of our straw hat pirates can only be you. Nami. Nami's heart was poked hard tilde. She understood that Liu Olan had already said that, no matter what she said, it could not be changed. But the strength of the dragon pirates. Thinking of this, Nami burst into Liu Olan's arms and cried, But the dragon pirates are really powerful, it's hard for humans to defeat them. Liu Olan, I don't want you to have something to do. Would you rather suffer in silence than others? You're such a silly girl. Tilda Liu Olan gently patted Nami's back and said with a smile, It's just a mere dragon pirate group, we can be wiped out easily. Not blowing Tilda, just Luffy's strength in third gear is enough to single-handedly brush East Blue. But, no but. All you have to do is trust me, the Straw Hat Pirates. Just as I trust you. Will you dot 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 will you trust me? As soon as Liu Olan said this, Nami couldn't continue. Yes Tilda. Liu Olan believes in me, so why can't I trust Liu Olan? Thinking of this, Nami suddenly raised his head. She also followed Liu Olan's example, covering Liu Olan's face with her small hands, and said, Let me see your eyes. Liu Olan was taken aback for a moment, but then he understood what Nami was going to do, and immediately smiled and said, Do you see what's coming? After watching for a while, Nami pouted. Although I can't see people's hearts through the eyes like you, but I would like to believe you. Hearing this, Liu Olan smiled Tilda, happy from the bottom of my heart. Go come with me. Liu Olan took Nami's hand and went out. Kicking open the door of Zore's room, and kicking open the door of Luffy's room again, Liu Olan shouted, Come out, come and witness the important moment when the straw hat voyagers join. Navigator, Luffy didn't feel sleepy when he heard this word, and rushed out immediately. On the other hand, Zoro couldn't hear what Liu Olan said because he was too tired from training. He rubbed his sleepy eyes and said in a daze, What's the matter, can't we talk about it tomorrow? Luffy went in and dragged Zoro out. Hey, hey, Liu Olan said that there are navigators who want to join. Sleep, sleeping Namapi, wake up high! Exclamation mark. Chapter 39 Nami reads manga, Card Kaptisura. That night, the third banquet in the history of the Straw Hat Pirates was held on the deck tilde. The first time was when Liu Olan joined the team. The second time was when Zoro joined the group. The third time was when Nami joined the group. The next morning, 
The sun shone through the windows into the cabin. Nami turned over, her rosy face just met the warm sunshine. Tilda, mm Tilda, with a soft snort, Nami opened his eyes. The banquet was late last night. Liu Olan gave up his bed to Nami, and he rested in the studio. The little white hand molded the pillow, and a burst of fresh breath penetrated into the nostrils. Tilda, even the pillow doesn't have any peculiar smell. Liu Olan must take a shower every day. Thinking of Liu Olan, Nami couldn't help showing a happy smile on his face. What girl would not like a clean man? You know, Nami is a clean person. Even when sailing on the sea, as long as conditions permit, she insists on taking a bath every day. And now, this man she likes is as clean as she is. Is there anything happier than this? Get up, fold the quilt, make a cup of warm milk Tilda. Nami feels the leisure and comfort that I can't even dream of for so many years Tilda. In the studio Tilda. Liu Olan is already drawing manga. Although he slept late last night, the biological clock he had developed for so long allowed him to wake up on time. After painting for a while, the door of the studio opened. He he Tilda. Nami's little head poked through the open door. Are you still used to my bed? Looking up at Nami, Liu Olan said with a smile. Well. It's so comfortable that I want to sleep in your bed every day. Nami stepped in with her little hands behind her back. When she came to the table, she took out a glass of milk from behind and handed it to Liu Olan. Here you are. Oh Tilda? To please me? Liu Olan took the milk and smiled jokingly. Well, sort of. Nami squatted down, laying her arms on the table, with her little head on her arms, and a sweet smile on her face. Since it's for flattery, then there must be some idea Tilda. After Liu Olan drank a glass of milk, his body began to warm up. I don't know Tilda Nami shook his head. Then let me guess Liu Olan made a thoughtful look, and then said, Do you want to read comics? What else can you do when you come to him besides reading comics? Read comics. Nami was slightly taken aback Tilda. Only then did she remember that the pirates in this pirate group seemed to like reading comics quite a bit. Before she went to Liu Olan's room to steal money, it was because Luffy and Zora were obsessed with reading comics that she was given the opportunity. If Liu Olan hadn't happened to bump into her, she might have transported the treasure to Kokosha village by now. Thinking of this, Nami couldn't help feeling a little scared in his heart. Exclamation mark. At that time, if I really succeeded in stealing the money, it should be the biggest miss in my life. Exclamation mark. Fortunately Tilda, he stopped me Tilda. That's why I didn't miss this boy who deserves my trust. In fact, Nami came to Liu Olan's studio now, without any purpose. She just wanted to bring Liu Olan a glass of milk, and then she could stay here with Liu Olan. That's all Tilda. But after being told by Liu Olan, she also became interested in comics. What an attractive storyline is in the manga that can fascinate those two Taihan hands Tilda. Thinking of this, Nami nodded. Well, you guessed it Tilda. I knew it. Liu Olan smiled and stretched out his hand, tapped Nami's cute nose lightly, and said with a smile, You can read all the comics on the shelf, you can choose one you like. Great. Nami enjoyed the feeling of being hands and feet by Liu Olan very much. It was a kind of throbbing of first love. When he came to the bookshelf, Nami glanced over. There are so many cartoons. There are various types. However, as a girl, she still prefers comics in which girls are the protagonists. After flipping through for a while, a manga was stuck in Nami's hands. Question mark card Kaptisura. Such a cute and cute heroine Tilda. Picking up the manga, Nami leaned against the bookshelf and read it. Liu Olan glanced at Nami, but didn't say anything. In fact, he likes the quiet atmosphere when he works. If Luffy and Zora were reading comics here, he would have thrown them out without hesitation Tilda. But, who would hate a girl as beautiful as Nami? When you are tired of painting, look up at the beautiful women. Not only can you rest your eyes for a while, but also cultivate your sentiment Tilda. Instead of bothering Nami with reading, Liu Olan continued to draw. Nami sighed Tilda. Just after watching the first episode, I was attracted by the two cute gods, Sura and Timoyo. What a cute girl, huh? The cards in this book actually have such magical abilities. I'm so envious of little Sura Tilda. If I can also have these cards, the villains of the dragon pirates will not be able to persecute the civilians of the Mida Islands. It's a pity that this is the world in the comics Tilda. Just thinking about such a thing, Nami suddenly felt the surrounding scene change Tilda. Ah Tilda? She subconsciously looked around Tilda. Nanny? Question mark. This, 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 this. Isn't this Surakan Amoto's father's study? What happened? Am I dreaming? Nami reached out to mold the bookshelf beside her. What? This touch. It is true. Exclamation mark. Wait Tilda. If this is Surakan Amoto's father's study. Wouldn't it be? I promised Liu Olan not to steal any more, but stealing things from the manga world. Dot 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 isn't it stealing Tilda? Thinking of this, Nami quickly walked around the two bookshelves, and carefully checked the one next to the wall. Finally, when her fingers touched a certain book in the middle Tilda, hum, golden light shines on this book. Chapter 40 Contract Magician, Captured the Clow Card. It's the Clow Card. I have seen the written appearance of the Clow Card in the comics before, and when I saw this hard shell book shining with golden light, Nami's eyes suddenly shone. 
Shouldn't this be something that Sabura Kinamoto got? Why am I getting it now? And I can still go to the manga world as much as possible. What is going on? Hey Tilda, and many more! Exclamation mark. Suddenly, Nami's beauty suddenly frowned. Luffy and Zora are so obsessed with reading comics every day, can they also enter the comic world? Yes! Exclamation mark. Those two guys, one fighting Madman and the other Tai Hanhan, how could they sit there quietly for a whole day tilde? If they were not able to enter the world of comics, how could they be in meditation? After understanding the truth of this, Nami suddenly realized it. I just don't know if entering the comic world will benefit you. Looking at the Coolio book in his hand, Nami thought about the plot of the manga he just read. If you can conquer the cloud card in the comic world, then, thinking of this, Nami's little heart started beating fast. When little Sura opened the Coolio book before, she accidentally activated the wind card causing all other Gula cards to be blown away. I can't make this mistake. As a smart little burglar, Nami is very good at absorbing lessons learned from others. She slowly opened the cover of the hardcover book, determined not to make the same mistake as little Sura. But when she opened the cover completely, the look of anticipation on Nami's face suddenly dimmed Tilda. Hey hey Tilda, looking at the empty hollow of the book Vice Admiral, Nami's little face froze for a moment, and then a wry smile appeared Tilda. What am I expecting? Before I came, this Kuro book had already been turned over by the little Sura. How could there be a Kuro card in it? Shrugging his tender shoulders unhappily, Nami prepared to put the Kuluo book back. But at this moment Tilda, hum, exclamation mark. Kuluishu once again burst into golden light. What? The sudden bloom made Nami startled, and subconsciously let go of her hand. Kuro's book fell to the floor, right on the inside of the last page. A bright red magic circle emerged on this page. The surface of the magic circle, like a calm lake suddenly fluctuated Tilda. In the horror of Nami's slightly opened mouth, a small elf girl with a pair of transparent wings flew out of the magic circle Tilda. The elf's limbs drooped naturally, without flapping its wings, it just floated upwards slowly. She closed her eyes, and when she was at the same level as Nami's line of sight, the elf girl suddenly raised her head. Hello Tilda. The moment she opened her eyes, the elf girl seemed to be activated suddenly, and her sweet voice was full of excitement. Wow, wish kawaii Tilda. Seeing such a small elf girl, Nami's girlish heart suddenly overflowed. She stretched out her palm, and the elf girl fell into her hand very cooperatively. Thank you for waking me up, I am the ceiling elf of this book, Clearly, The elf girl tapped Nami's palm lightly with her toes, and her body spun around in the air. Seal the elves. There was a look of surprise on the pure face. Nami frowned slightly, and then asked in doubt, but, if I remember correctly, shouldn't the sealed beast of the Kura card be called Kerberos? After a pause, Nami added, that little. Lion that looks silly, pfft Tilda. Probably amused by Nami's words, the elf girl Kalilai's smile trembled. You said that sleepy idiot but speaking of it, it looks far from a lion, I think it more like a dog. Well, it doesn't matter if it's a lion or a dog, anyway, shouldn't it be the sealed beast of the cloud card? Nami said, spreading his hands. MMMM, what you said is not wrong, it's just that it is a low-level sealed beast and I am a high-level sealed elf. It is just a life born from the Kuluo book. And I was born in the world in order, one of the elves who are responsible for the abnormal energy system of this world. Kalilai explained clearly. Nami is very smart, so he quickly understood such an explanation. That is to say, that puppy is equivalent to the self-supervisor of Kuluo Shu, and this world order will generate a lot of order energy, which is used to supervise the external supervisors of abnormal energy systems such as Kuluo cards, magic, etc. But Lily, you are the external supervisor who specializes in supervising cloud cards, bingo. Exactly. But Lily smiled happily and danced around in the air. But, when little Sura came, why didn't you make a contract with her? Could it be because that little dog took the lead? Nami continued to ask. Kalilai explained, because I come from the world order, people in this world can't sense my existence. Only the souls from other world can interact with me and wake me up. Spirits from other world. Really? I really came to the comic world. By the way, what's your name? At this time? The elf Kalilai suddenly asked. My name is Nami. Nami reached out and gently touched Kalilai's little feet, and replied with a giggle. Well, Nami, from now on, you will be the order magician of my contract with Lily. Saying that, the elf Kalilai opened her hands. Hum! Exclamation mark. Gorgeous colorful lights emanated from Kalilai's body. Then, it expanded in an instant, enveloping Nami. The key to order. The person who made the contract with me is here, and this girl is named Nami. The key of order. Please give this girl divine power. Contract. After Kalilai finished chanting the spell, a spherical light suddenly appeared in front of Nami's eyes. The light is so bright, don't stare at it! Exclamation mark. Almost blinding Nami's eyes tilde. Well, Nami subconsciously covered his eyes with his hand, then lowered his head, and glanced at the spherical flash from the corner of his eye. I saw a long-handled magic wand appearing in the spherical flash. Quick, grab it! The elf Kalilai reminded. It is good. Nami didn't hesitate. She swung her arm vigorously as if throwing a ball, 
and grab the magic wand with one swipe, Buzz Tilda. The majestic magic power on the magic wand seemed to find a catharsis at this moment, and it all poured into Nami's body at once. Yeah, done. The transparent wings behind the elf Kalilai flapped happily, circling around Nami. From now on, let's go to capture Kula cards together. It would be too slow to count on that stupid puppy. Set off. The miniature hand pointed out the window in the air, but Lily was impassioned Tilda. Chapter 41 Outsmart. Nami pull card. Kalilai, who is an order elf is obviously stronger than the sealed beast puppy. She swayed her magic power and flew out of little Sora's house with Nami. Being in the sky, Kalilai said, Nami, now feel it with your heart and see if you can sense the breath of the cloud card. It is good. Although he was driven to the shelves, Nami is still very positive about what the magician will do. Holding the magic wand in her hand, she closed her eyes, and the unique magic power belonging to the magician radiated out to the surroundings. Soon, Nami exuded the light of magic power deeply and the magic power sprinkled to the earth like mercury pouring down the ground. What born magician Tilda? Feeling the majestic magic power emanating from Nami, even Kalilai, the elf of order, couldn't help sighing. There, without keeping Kalilai waiting for too long, Nami's eyes suddenly opened, and there was a hint of sharpness in those wine-red pupils. So fast, Kalilai was a little surprised Tilda. With such a search speed, even those graceful magicians in the past thousand years probably couldn't reach this level, right? Wow, I'm so lucky. Kalilai's magic power moved. Let's go there. The two shuttled through the clouds and soon came to the top of a zoo. It's here. Nami stopped, looked down and said, Okay, let's go down. But Lily waved her magic power, and the two quickly landed. Boom! Exclamation mark. Boom! Exclamation mark. Snapped. In the zoo at night, there was a rumbling sound, which was obviously not normal. When I took a closer look, I saw trash cans, rest chairs, and signs in the zoo. Dot 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 all of which were thrown everywhere. Be careful. Suddenly, Nami grabbed Kalilai and jumped to the right. Boom. A small rockery landed where Nami was standing just now, and the ground exploded. This violent temper should be a power card. But Lily's little head came out of Nami's arms and analyzed. Hey, hey, couldn't the management staff in the zoo hear such a big commotion? The first thing Nami considers is not the card, but the people in this zoo are too strange, right? Even at night, you can't sleep so dead, can you? No. Because ordinary people cannot see the magic power of the cloud card. These movements will be automatically blocked by ordinary people under the magic power of the power card. If someone happens to pass by here now, he can only see what happened just now. The rockery is flying out of thin air. You will definitely think it is haunted Tilda. Kalila explained to Nami. So it's like this. I also said that these people are deaf Tilda. Shrugging, Nami showed a dumbfounding expression. Boom! Exclamation mark. Something was thrown up and fell heavily to the ground. Nami asked. How can I subdue her? As long as you point your magic circle at her forehead and say return to your original appearance, she will become a power card for you to use in the future. Kalilai explained. Ah dot 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 but I can't even see where she is. In fact, even if they saw it, they would definitely not be able to obediently stay there and let you seal it Tilda. But Lily said. While flying, I have a way to make her appear, but as for how to subdue her, it can only be done by yourself! Exclamation mark. Well, I'm on my own. Nami is speechless Tilda. Lily didn't notice Nami's expression. But Lila continued, Li Pei I think she is very powerful, if someone wants to compare her strength with her, she will definitely show up. Dot. Nami showed an incredible expression. This is what you said? She is called Power Card, and I have to compete with her Tilda. Am I full? Is there no other way? Nami asked bitterly. But Lila stuck out her tongue playfully, no more hey. Seeing Nami's embarrassment, Lily thought about it and asked, why don't we go to other places to find other cloud cards? After all, Nami is now tantamount to starting from zero. Without the help of any cloud card power, it is indeed difficult to generate the lively cloud card. If you can find a good opportunity and get a cloud card first, it will be of great help to collect the cloud cards in the future. After thinking for a while, Nami shook his head resolutely, no need. Even if I go to find other cloud cards, the situation I have to face is still the same. Instead of wasting time searching aimlessly, focus on what's in front of you. Nami herself is a very strong girl Tilda. Therefore, she plans to subdue Li Pei I! Exclamation mark. Hey, you are the power card. Do you dare to come out and compete with me to see who is more powerful? After Nami made up her mind, she shouted into the dark night ahead. Boom! Exclamation mark. Boom! Exclamation mark. Boom! Exclamation mark. The ground exploded one after another. It seemed that there was one that kept trampling the ground and was rushing towards Nami. Not waiting for the appearance of the power card, but waiting for such a terrible scene, Nami has the urge to cry. She is not stupid. She turned around and ran away. While running, he yelled at Kalilai. I'm already provoking her, why hasn't she shown up yet? But Lily flew beside Nami, thought for a while, and said, what should you try to tell her the specifics? Nami hurriedly yelled, hey, you like throwing things very much, dare to compare with me who throws farther. Sure enough Tilda. As soon as Nami said this, the roar behind him disappeared immediately. The next moment, 
a little pink lily appeared in midair in front of Nami, and then landed slowly. There is only less than half a meter behind her, but she has perfect body proportions, and a pair of elf-like pointed ears, all of which make people feel cute. Nah. Nani, Leap Pei is such a cute little lily? Question mark. Even though Nami had already guessed that Leap Pei was a woman, she never expected it to be such a cute little lily. But Lily reminded, don't underestimate her, or you will suffer a lot. Well, I know that. Nami nodded but still couldn't help but look at the power cards a few more times. It's too cute Tilda. Who are you going to throw farther than me, and what are you throwing? Blinking her kind pink eyes, the cute little Lily asked with a harmless face. Even, as soon as she opened her mouth, that cute and cute voice made people go up and take a bite Tilda. Stones? Trash cans? Benches? Or rockery? Let you choose. Although the voice of little Lily is very cute, but the words she speaks are very arrogant and conceited Tilda. Okay, then let's throw this. Without any hesitation, Nami immediately took out a piece of paper from her pocket. Exclamation mark. Chapter 42 Liu Lan will definitely think that I am capable. Hey hey Tilda. Seeing that Nami took out a piece of paper suddenly, Klili, the elf of order, was startled. Hey 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 Tilda. They are powerful brands. The strength is super strong. Even if there is a mountain in front of her, this little Lili can easily throw it away. Let alone a piece of paper. Aha. Uh -huh. Toss this. Then I must have won. Although the little Lilita is extremely powerful. She is very simple. Seeing that Nami just took out a piece of paper, she put her hands on her hips and laughed. That's not necessarily the case. We each throw once, and whoever throws the farthest wins. Nami walked over to Lee Pei Xiaoluo and handed her the paper in his hand. Watching the little girl take the paper, Nami did not forget to continue provocatively. I'll see how far you can throw it. Ahaha. <laughs> Watch it. Compared with strength, I have never lost. Little Lily grabbed the paper, stretched her small arms backwards, and then threw it forward. Brush! Exclamation mark. The paper comes out of the hand of the power player Tilda. However, it's just that there was a tendency to accelerate at the moment when I let go, and the next moment I completely released the force under the judo of the air Tilda. Then it floated down limply, and finally landed on the tiptoes of Xiaoluoluo! Exclamation mark. Little Lolita's eyes widened in disbelief, she looked at the piece of paper under her feet, and her whole body collapsed. How dot 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 how is it possible? Exclamation mark. My strength is infinite! Exclamation mark. Hey, this is your grade. Nami came over, picked up a stone and drew a horizontal line in front of the little Lolita's toes. Then it's my turn. Picking up the paper, Nami stood next to little Lolita. Even if I can't throw it out, you certainly can't. Before Nami's results came out, little Lolita obviously didn't want to admit defeat. Then, Nami rubbed the paper and rubbed it into a paper ball. Ah, uh, Lily, the order elf at the side, saw Nami's operation and immediately understood. Not only has the owner the best magician talent in the past thousand years, but also has super wisdom. Wow, what a perfect magician! Exclamation mark. Whoosh, with a flick of Nami's fingers, the ball of paper drew a parabola and landed far away easily. Yay, I won. After the results came out, Nami jumped up happily with her arms raised, and Li Pei Ai's little Lolita suddenly looked like a deflated ball, and the smile on her little face disappeared all of a sudden. Instead, it is extremely sad and sad Tilda. She slumped to the ground, her big pink eyes were filled with tears Tilda. If you have to say it, it's like the feeling of a first grade elementary school student when he got his report card and found out that he failed. Nami, hurry up, now is the best time to officially seal her. Lily, the elf of order, hurriedly shouted. If this kind of good opportunity is missed, I don't even know when it will reappear next time. Okay. Nami picked up the magic wand and looked at the cute and pitiful little girl in front of her Tilda. Suddenly there is a sense of guilt for committing a crime Tilda. Although there is disgust for bullying children. It is the best state for such a violent child to return to the Clow card. Gritting his teeth, Nami shook his heart and passed the magic wand in his hand to the little Lolita's forehead. Restore your original appearance, Clow card. As such chanting came out of Nami's mouth, a magic circle was initially selected on the ground below the power card little Lily. Shining light, colorful mad are Tilda. Under the magic power of the Clow card, the little Lolita of the power card quickly transformed into a pink magic power, and then, like the smoke of Aladdin's lamp, was collected into the magic circle below. Buzz Tilda. When all the pink magic power fluctuations disappeared, the magic circle below also showed its prototype and turned into a clow card. Isn't the pattern drawn on the card exactly the violent little Lily just now? Huh. What a cute and short-tempered little guy. Follow me from now on. Nami crouched down and picked up the clow card. She looked at Lily, the elf of order. So, is it subdued? Yeah. Nami, you're amazing. It's an eye-opener that you've conquered the power cards without the help of any Kulo magic power. But Lily praised Nami without hesitation. Okay Tilda. Then I will accept your rainbow fart Tilda. The corners of Nami's mouth raised slightly, and he smiled happily. If Liu Olan knew, he would definitely think that I am capable. Just as he was thinking wildly, Lily's voice came from next to his ear. Okay, let's go here first today. Let's go back and rest. 
and look for other Clow cards tomorrow. Next moment Tilda, the breath of night was gone, replaced by the silence in the house. There is also a faint smell of milk wafting to Nami's nose. Hey Tilda, came back. Nami subconsciously molded his own face. Just now, is it real or an illusion? Question mark. Although the experience is very real, but right now it is in the cabin after all, and Nami is not sure which is reality and which is illusion Tilda. At this time, there was a feeling of contact in the palm, and Nami looked down. What? This. This is. Power card! Exclamation mark. She molded the power card, and a wave of magic power flowed out from the power card, which was transmitted to Nami. Nami can clearly feel that the feeling of power is always in touch with him. As long as she wants, she can mobilize the power from the power card! Exclamation mark. I actually got the Clow card, exclamation mark. This good news, I want to share with Liu Olan, exclamation mark. But looking up, Nami saw that Liu Olan was seriously drawing manga, and couldn't bear to disturb him now. Let's wait, I'll tell her when she finishes drawing the manga. He will definitely praise me for what I can do Tilda. I'll try the effect of the strength card first. From an ordinary girl to a girl with supernatural power, how could Nami resist the desire to test the sword? Without disturbing Liu Olan, Nami walked out lightly, closed the door and went straight to the deck. Chapter 43 I believe in you, you green-haired man, you are very bad Tilda. On deck Tilda, the morning wind is blowing, and the early birds are already looking for the early fish between the sea and the sky Tilda. Ho, oh, ah, Zora was holding a self-made super big mallet and swung it forward vigorously. When I was in Shimatsuki village, strength training was an essential daily training for Zora. After becoming a bounty hunter, Zora will not relax in strength training as long as he has tools at hand. Now that he has joined the Straw Hat Pirates, his daily life has become more regular, and Zora picked up this habit again. The big mallet in his hand was as tall as the two of him. The head of the mallet took up about half of its length, and it was made entirely of solid iron coils. It must weigh at least a thousand catties. Even though it was so heavy, Zora could barely swing the big mallet forward like a knife. For such strength training, Zora practiced 1000 chops every morning. After the strength training, Zora will take a short rest before entering the manga to learn swordsmanship from Kojiro Sasaki. And fail to kill this super dangerous species, damn it. Why is his defense so strong? On the side, Luffy's first trip to, Zantong, ended today, and he yelled depressingly. He stood up and walked around, ready to stretch his muscles before going in. 987, 988, 989. The sound of Zora slashing the big stick made Luffy look over involuntarily. Luffy picked his nostrils and walked towards Zora. Your mallet looks heavy. 997, 998, 999, 1000. After slashing 1000 times, Zora gently placed the big mallet on the deck to prevent the deck from being smashed. Ha! Huh. He took a few deep breaths, adjusted his breath, and said, This weighs 1000 catties. So heavy? Luffy was a little surprised. Can this thing be that heavy? Let me give it a try. Recently, in the Zantong world, Luffy almost wiped out all the dangerous species on the deserted island, but only faced with the last super dangerous species. The main reason is that the defense of the dangerous species is too thick and Luffy's strength is simply not enough to break it. But in the battle after battle, Luffy found that when he wanted to arouse stronger power, a black aura would emerge from his fists and even his arms tilde. Luffy believed that as long as his black aura was cultivated to a more powerful level, he would definitely be able to beat that super dangerous species into the air. However, Luffy himself has no idea how strong his current strength is. Seeing Zora slashing with this big mallet now, he suddenly became interested and wanted to try his hand. He was about to do it when he heard the cabin door open. Nami stepped out of the cabin. Huh? Nami, you came just in time. Take a look at the weather. Is it possible that there will be a storm later? Zora pointed to the distant sky, where there was a black cloud, and there seemed to be lightning. Although Zora doesn't know how to sail, who doesn't have a motivated heart? Storm? Nami actually came to the deck intending to try the effect of power cards, but at this time, hearing Zora's words, Nami also became vigilant. On the sea, if there is a storm, the consequences are quite dire. Everyone knows that about 30 years ago, Liu Oji and Golden Lion, the peerless twins of the sea at that time, led their respective pirate groups to a team battle in the sea area of Eight Wall. Golden Lion's flying pirates have the absolute upper hand, but a sudden storm directly wiped out the flying pirates, and Golden Lion almost died. It can be said that on the sea, the storm is the absolute king. Nami walked over, ready to go to the bow to have a look, but Zora's homemade mallet was placed right on the bow deck preventing Nami from getting there. She subconsciously reached out to grab the handle of the big mallet. Hey, Zoro wanted to stop immediately. After all, this thing weighs more than 1000 catties. It would be bad if Nami accidentally hurt herself tilde. Navigator, but super expensive. However, before he could say the next words, he was dumbfounded. Exclamation mark. Because Nami raised his hand casually, and picked up the big mallet. Hey tilde. Luffy's eyes widened in bewilderment, and then he looked at Zoro tilde. 
Didn't you say that this big mallet is super heavy? That's it. Zara also opened his mouth wide. No. No no. This must be an illusion. For a moment he didn't know how to explain to Luffy that he wasn't lying. What is this? It looks so ugly. Holding a big mallet in front of his eyes, Nami took a look, then took two steps forward, approaching the edge of the bow. She held the handle of the big mallet with one hand, and then, as if she was holding a small wooden stick, she pointed the big mallet at the dark clouds in the distant sky and asked, is that the black cloud you are talking about? What? Seeing Nami swinging the big mallet lightly, Zora's Adam's apple slid up and down, and he stammered, yes. Yes, sweat. It's a cyclone caused by a small cold front passing through the border. It will only cause precipitation in a small area of local sea areas, and it is not on the same line as our course. It's okay, shrugging, Nami explained. Afterwards, she looked around, trying to find a heavy object to test the effect of the power card, but found that there seemed to be nothing on the deck. Shaking his head dejectedly, he lightly leaned the big mallet in his hand against the bow of the ship, and went back to the cabin. When Nami's figure disappeared at the hatch, Luffy crossed his hands in front of him, and looked at Zoro with a gaze of Holmes Luffy. HMPH Tilda, you actually used a hollow one to fool me. Unfortunately, I really thought that you practiced heavy chopping every day. Although Zoro's trick was exposed, Luffy did not mean to ridicule, but only teased. No. No, this really weighs a thousand catties. Zoro opened his hands, his face was anxious and serious. Luffy grinned at the corner of his mouth, and laughed. Oh Tilda, then tell me, why is something that weighs a thousand catties like a small wooden stick in Nami's hands? How do I know this? Zora is also very heartbroken now, he frowned and said, maybe, Nami is born with supernatural power? As soon as the words came out, Luffy laughed out loud, exclamation mark. Hey, I believe you ghost, you green-haired boss, you are very bad. As soon as Luffy turned around arrogantly, she planned to continue to practice in the world of, Zantong. You stop for me, seeing that Luffy is going to take him for a liar. Zora can't take it. Don't believe it? Then you try it. Saying that, Zora grabbed the big mallet with both hands and threw it towards Luffy. It's useless for you to throw the fake over here. Dot 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 R. As soon as Luffy got the fake product, he let out a scream and was suppressed. Chapter 44 The mission is handed over, and the small broken boat exits. On the deck, it took Luffy a while to recover Tilda. He pushed the big mallet on his body hard, moved it to the side, and said in a daze, It's so heavy. Believe me now Tilda. Zora raised his chin showing a bit of complacency, amount Tilda, I believe it Tilda, but the problem is, Luffy tilted her head to look in the direction of the cabin door, she couldn't help but scratched her head, why does Nami hold it like a wooden stick, two big men are not as strong as a little girl Tilda, do you think it's embarrassing, at the mention of this, Zora immediately turned into a discouraged ball, and said with shame on his face, maybe, just as I guessed just now, she is born with supernatural power, Luffy pondered for a moment, then nodded heavily, you're right, then, he suddenly jumped up from the ground and became excited. No way, Zora, the two of us have to work hard. We must not lose strength to girls. Tai Hanhan and Tai Hanhan can always find a common language. On Luffy's provocation, Zora also frowned. That's right. Let's work hard together. Try to surpass Nami as soon as possible. The two took out the comic book and entered it each. A few days later, the pirate ship docked. Click! Exclamation mark. Oops, there are hidden reefs in this harbor. Zora lay prone on the edge of the fence looking down the hull, whoosh, Luffy stretched his legs and jumped off the deck, he approached the hull and took a closer look Tilda, there seems to be a small problem, picking his nose, Luffy said with a slightly doubtful tone, Zora followed and disembarked, but when he saw the damaged part of the hull, he immediately opened his mouth wide open, idiot, you call this a small problem, hurry up and inform Liu Olan and Nami, let them get off the boat, ah, by the way, Liu Olan still has so many comic books, hurry up, let's get the comic books for him, without waiting for Luffy's reaction, Zora rushed onto the deck with his gun, and then rushed into the cabin. Hey Tilda, the problem seems to be a bit serious. Looking at the whole hole that was pouring water violently, Luffy realized it later Tilda. With hands stretched out, grabbing the edge of the deck, Luffy also climbed onto the deck. But before he could go to the cabin, he saw Liu Olan and the three of them had already come out of the cabin. The vibration sound of the collision of the hull just now was not small, and it was impossible for the people in the cabin to not notice it. Nami went to Liu Olan's studio immediately intending to help Liu Lan transfer the comics, but when she got there, Nami was surprised to find that all the comics had disappeared, and then she was dragged by Liu Lan and ran out together. On the way, I met Zora who was lost in the cabin. What about books? You don't care about comic books anymore? Although Luffy is slow-witted, he also knows how important comic books are. That is the treasure house of true power! Exclamation mark. The comic book is fine, I received it with the fruit ability. In fact, Liu Olan put the comic book into the system space. When several people got off the boat, the hull of the pirate ship had sunk by nearly a measure. And it keeps sinking. Liu Olan took a look at the damage on the hull. It was really exaggerated. 
He broke the wooden board at the hole with his hands tilde. Click. Broken. Apparently, the ship was weather beaten and was about to retire. The boards have rotted like this. It's a blessing to be able to reach this island. Nami checked it out and made an accurate judgment. Dot. Liu Olan was silent for a while. When he crossed over, he landed on this ship. Although this ship has nothing to do with him, he has lived on this ship for more than a year after all. After all, there is still some emotion. Now that the ship is suddenly lost, Liu Olan will inevitably feel a touch of reluctance in his heart. When I read the manga before, when I saw that the Mary was declared dead, Usopp went crazy and wanted to be an enemy of the whole world. At that time, Liu Olan felt that Usopp was really childish. The melee is obviously unable to continue sailing, so why hang on? But now, when this kind of thing happened to him, he realized that Usopp's reaction was not exaggerated at all. What's more, for the Straw Hats and Usopp, the Mary is of great significance. The rotten boat in front of me is completely incomparable. Liu Olan, your boat seems to be dying, Luffy said bluntly. Zara turned his head and glanced at him. It seems inappropriate to say this at this time. Nami took Liu Olan's arm and comforted. It can no longer support the next voyage. For it, its mission has been completed. Liu Olan shrugged, patted Nami's head with a smile, and said, Don't worry, I'm not a hypocritical person. With that said, Liu Olan lit a torch. Meeting is a fate and parting may just be the starting point of reunion in the next life. Thank you for being with me this year. If there is an afterlife, I hope I can meet you in your best years. Feeling emotional in his heart, Liu Olan lit the small broken boat on fire. This is Xiluobu village, Liu Olan remembered. Going Mary was born here. The small broken boat dragged them here with their rotten remains, and then left sadly. Exit the place where Going Mary is about to be born. Somewhere Tilda. Isn't this just a mission handover? Chapter 45 Haki's small lecture class starts. On the beach Tilda. The four members of the Straw Hat Pirates sit together Tilda. If you want to continue sailing, it seems that you have to buy a boat in this village. Luffy suggested. Zoro agreed. Yes. I just don't know if there are any shipbuilders in this village who are good at building boats. I feel that our boats should be bigger. In the world of pirates, because of the special geographical setting, every island is inseparable from the ship. Therefore, there is no place that does not have the ability to build ships. Oops, our money is gone. Suddenly, Luffy suddenly remembered something, immediately shouted, and was about to get up and rush into the sea. Don't be nervous. The money is still there. Liu Olan her quick eyes and quick hands, and held Luffy down. I'll be good Tilda, with your posture. Don't you still want to rush into the sea to salvage the sunken ship? Question mark. Where's the money? Didn't see it. Luffy wondered. Before Liu Olan could speak, Nami spoke first. I asked this question when I came out just now. When Liu Olan put away the comics, he also put away the money. As the person who loves money the most in the whole group, I have never cared about whether the money is still there, which already shows that the money is no problem Tilda. So it is. Luffy breathed a sigh of relief, and sighed. Liu Olan's fruit ability is really reliable. Hey, hey, Luffy, don't put the cart before the horse. It's because Liu Olan is reliable, so his fruit ability is reliable. Nami protested shaking her small fist. Dot. Zora pouted Tilda. Too much. Licking Liu Olan in front of everyone. Isn't it appropriate Tilda? At this time, Liu Olan said, I also agree with Zora's proposal just now. We must build a big ship this time. It must be able to accompany us all the next journey. I don't want to go through another farewell scene with a boat. Liu Olan. Nami leaned closer to Liu Olan. Exclamation mark Tilda. Zora felt his teeth sore, and subconsciously scratched his arm. Nay I nay I di. Do you feed this dog food directly to your face? At this time, Zoro really envied Luffy, an emotional idiot, more and more. He really didn't notice Nami's feelings for Liu Olan at all. Tilda, great. Hearing what Liu Olan said, Luffy raised his hands happily. Liu Olan, you are right. We must have a big ship that can carry all our partners around the world. Zoro said, the deck needs to be big, so it's easy to practice. Then I want to have a big room. Next to Liu Olan's room, there should be a door to go through. Nami also expressed his thoughts. Liu Olan nodded, okay. The next thing to do is to go to the island to find a good shipbuilder. For Liu Olan, he certainly knows who the best shipbuilder in Xiluobu village is. But when I first arrived on this island, I will tell everyone that I know everything about this island! Exclamation mark. That would be so strange. Looking for a shipbuilder? Then find someone to ask. After speaking, Luffy turned his head to look at the hillside not far away, and shouted, Hey, who is the most powerful shipbuilder on your island? Seeing Luffy's sudden approach, the other three looked over at the same time. Nami looked at it for a while and asked in confusion, Hey, who are you talking to? Is there anyone there? Luffy, don't be suspicious, there is grass. Zoro didn't notice any movement either. There are really people. I heard them all. There are four people in total, and three of them should be little hairy kids. Luffy pointed to the bushes and said seriously. Afterwards, he gave everyone a dumbfounded look. Didn't you all hear that? Zoro frowned. Are you kidding me? If there is someone, of course it is to see with eyes. How could it be to listen? Nami also said, That's right. Even if you play tricks on us, 
You have to make up a decent reason Tilda otherwise, how could we be fooled? He did hear it. At this time, Liu Olan spoke. Hearing what Luffy said just now, Liu Olan was also taken aback. But then, he realized that the problem seemed not so simple. Exclamation mark. In the world of pirates, there is indeed a power of listening Tilda. Its name, Observation Haki. If it is the original plot, it is definitely impossible for Luffy to come into contact with Observation Haki at this time. Even Odai hasn't thought of such a thing as Haki yet. But right now, Luffy is already in third gear Tilda. In this case, the practice of awakening Haki begins. It makes sense, right? What's more, judging from the situation described by Luffy just now, the power of listening does meet the standard of Observation Haki. Did you really hear that? Zora gave a surprised look. Are ears better than eyes? What does it mean? Nami rested her chin and looked at Liu Olan curiously. Since Liu Olan said that Luffy heard it, Nami naturally believed it. Luffy himself scratched his head. I did hear it, but I don't know what's going on. Liu Olan, it looks like you know. Um, Liu Olan nodded and explained. We all know that there is something called devil fruit in this world, which can give ordinary people great power. Everyone nodded. Liu Olan continued, and the place we want to go is called the Grand Line. There. There are many powerful pirates who don't have devil fruit, but they can still dominate one side. What they rely on is a practice called Haki. Haki? Question mark. It was the first time for the other three people to hear this word, and Kiki put black question marks on their foreheads tilde. Haki is divided into three types. One of the powers can sharpen the five senses, including the power of hearing. By practicing this power, you can detect the breath of surrounding creatures, and even emotional changes. During battle, you can use this power to predict and avoid danger. If I'm not mistaken, what Luffy used just now is this power called Observation Haki. Liu Olan set up a popular science lecture for everyone. Anyway, I will be exposed to Haki in the future, so it is better to let them familiarize themselves with this knowledge earlier. There is also a kind of Haki called Armament Haki. It can improve the defense of the human body, like invisible armor. Wrapped around the body can also enhance the strength of the person. It can even capture the entity of the Lodia Fruit Ability user. Not only can it affect itself it can act on itself and it can also act on objects. Liu Lan continued to explain. Is that called armament Haki? Luffy's eyes sparkled. Obediently Tilda. Eyes are shining Tilda. It seems that Luffy is looking forward to this kind of power. That's right. The strong will be like this. Liu Lan immediately encouraged and said, Yes, Luffy, with your talent, if you go through a few more battles, you should be able to touch the threshold of armament Haki. But as soon as he finished speaking, he saw a black hair flow emerging from Luffy's arm. Look, Liu Lan, is this one? Chapter 46 Are you really not considering letting me be your captain? Look, Liu Olan, is this one? Luffy handed her black silk calm forward tilde. Isn't that trapped around armament Haki? Exclamation mark. FK! Exclamation mark. This really made Liu Olan look confused tilde. Nima tilde, I know you're so early tilde. I didn't know you were driving so outrageously. Exclamation mark. Just left the village for half a month tilde. The fruit opens to the third gear and Haki repairs the two color. Liu Olan was already silently praying for D.A. Ma and Kaduo. So what? I will try to let Luffy be gentle when the time comes Tilda. Hey, and many more. I already have two color Haki, so why not? Thinking of this, Liu Olan quickly added the third type of Haki, Conqueror's Haki. When it was confirmed that Luffy hadn't awakened Conqueror's Haki, Liu Olan finally breathed a sigh of relief. Okay okay Tilda. It would be atrocious if Conqueror's Haki had one too. They're leaving. Luffy stood up suddenly and his right hand stretched out suddenly with the force of rubber, over the grass and shrubs on the hillside. Ah! Yukai! Usopp's scream came from behind the grass bushes, as Luffy's arm retracted, Usopp was also lifted. Just dot 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 just now your he dot 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 arm stretched. Hey, hey, you dot 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 you see. As soon as he was carried to the beach, Usopp pointed at Luffy and shouted in panic. Don't be nervous, Luffy is a rubber fruit capable person, his body can be stretched like rubber. Liu Olan patted Usopp on the shoulder signaling him to be calm. Although this one looks a bit cowardly and unmanly, it's only temporary. As the absolute nuclear weapon of the Straw Hats in the future, the Straw Hats can promise not to use Gorgeous Soap easily. But once used, it must be a law. Liu Olan grabbed Luffy's nose, pulled it forward, and pulled it for a long time. See? This is the ability of rubber fruit. Ah, Tilda? Longer than dot 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 longer than my nose. Usopp subconsciously molded his own nose. This was the first time he had met an opponent in terms of nose length. Yes, but your nose is fixed. His nose can be longer or shorter than yours. As soon as Liu Olan let go, Luffy's nose bounced back. Amazing. Seeing such ability, Usopp is really envious. However, he suddenly realized something, and immediately asked vigilantly, Who are you? We are the Straw Hat Pirates. Luffy replied without hesitation. Pirates? Question mark. Upon hearing this, Usopp's inner brave warrior soul stirred up. No, I have to protect the village. Aha. Then you have come to the wrong place. There are no shipbuilders here, 
And this is the village of pirates, but me, with a thumb pointing at himself, Usopp said boldly, I am Usopp, the leader of the big pirate group in this village. People call me, Captain Usopp, for the sake of meeting you once, I advise you to give up attacking this village, otherwise, my 80 million subordinates will not stand idly by. When speaking, Usopp crossed his hands in front of him, and his tone was arrogant. Looks like a big pirate tilde, boast. Nami saw through Usopp at a glance like a small class monitor checking homework. As soon as the words came out, Usopp panicked. R? Was it discovered? Question mark. Nami giggled. Ah ha Look, you admit it tilde? Nani? Question mark. It turns out that you, a nasty woman, lied to me. What? I actually did not call myself. What a smart stinky woman. Ah ha ha You are so interesting. Luffy laughed out loud at Usopp's hilarious look because he was going through the gang. I have to say, Luffy's smile is really cheap tilde. Usopp was furious. Hey, how dare you make fun of me? I am a man with pride. That's why everyone calls me Usopp the man with pride. Seeing this, Liu Olan explained with a smile. Don't worry, Usopp. We didn't come to attack the village. We came here for two things. One is to buy a big boat, and the other is to find a suitable partner to go to sea with us. Nanny? Question mark. Isn't it attacking the village? Sweat. Why didn't you say it earlier Tilda? After a while, a certain restaurant in the village Tilda. Usopp sat down to eat with the straw hat pirates. If we talk about boats, then only that family will have big boats. After the straw hat pirates meal, Usopp began to talk freely. Then blah blah blah. Blah blah. Usopp took the opportunity to sum up. So, aren't you looking for a companion? Luffy looked over. Do you have a suitable candidate? Usopp pointed to himself with his thumb, and said triumphantly, I, I can be your captain. Dot. The four members of the Straw Hat Pirates, you look at me, I look at you Tilda. Keep eating Tilda. You really don't want me to be your captain? If you miss this village, you won't have this shop. I'm the best Usopp captain on the seas. Hey, hey, can you hear me? One by one, give me some feedback. Dot. This meal. I just listened to Usopp alone Tilda. After drinking and eating, Liu Lan thought about how to get close to Kaya and gain her trust. Otherwise, a group of pirates ran over and said they wanted to buy a boat from him, wouldn't they frighten the little girl? After thinking about it, Liu Lan suddenly had an idea. With a thought, he drew a reward order in the system space. Taking out this reward order, Liu Lan put it in front of Usopp. Have you seen this man? Liu Lan pointed to the portrait on the painting and asked Usopp. Hey? Isn't this Mrs. Kaya's housekeeper, Klobato? He's a nasty guy. Do you know him? Usopp immediately recognized the guy who kept Kaya from meeting him. Housekeeper? Question mark. Liu Olan showed an unbelievable expression. What's wrong? Although Usopp was cowardly, he was actually very careful, and immediately realized that something was wrong. Liu Olan pointed to the portrait with his finger. This person, he is the captain of the Black Cat Pirates, Beiji Keluo, who kills people like hemp. He suddenly disappeared mysteriously three years ago. Did you expect to be here? Hey, hey, could it be a mistake? Shouldn't it be? Although he hates Krabatel. Usopp doesn't want to wrong people casually. You can't make a mistake. You can read below. Liu Olan opened the bottom of the folded paper. Usopp immediately looked down at the text below. Crow. The captain of the Black Cat Pirates. The number of civilians killed exceeds 700. The number of marines killed exceeds 100. And a reward of 16 million baileys is offered. What? Panic and fear suddenly burst out from the originally calm eyes. Exclamation mark. Usopp faltered in horror. This. This is. This is the reward order I found in the reference room in Shield Town. Marine's reward order cannot be fake, right? Liu Olan said nonsense with a serious face. No. Kaya, I have to tell him the truth. After a short period of fear, Usopp immediately thought of Kaya's safety. He grabbed the reward order and ran away. Exclamation mark. Chapter 47 Forbearance for three years. Endure the loneliness. Usopp ran ahead followed by the four straw hat pirates. I didn't expect a big pirate who offered a reward of 16 million baileys to hide here as a housekeeper. What is he planning? Nami followed Liu Olan, feeling very puzzled. He is a murderous pirate. He will definitely not do good things, Zora said calmly. Liu Olan nodded. Yes, this kind of person. There is no such thing as a golden basin to wash their hands. In Shield Town, when Luffy and I went to find a knife for Zora, I accidentally saw the information room of the reward order. I thought it might be useful. So I brought some out. I didn't he expect it to come in handy. Hey Tilda, that doesn't seem to be the main entrance. Does it? Suddenly, Luffy looked at Usopp who was climbing the wall in front of him with a dazed expression. Dot. Zora's mouth twitched. Good guy. Didn't you say you know the eldest lady? This one is on the wall when there is a disagreement. Nami also patted his forehead, and joked playfully. You really are a big talker Tilda. Let's go. Let's go to the wall too. Liu Olan curled his lips, without saying a word. He walked to the corner quickly and slid up to the top of the wall. Liu Olan grabbed me. Nami rushed over with a run-up, borrowed strength from the sole of his foot on the wall, and immediately reached out to Liu Olan. Liu Olan grabbed Nami's little hand and pulled her up. Later, 
Luffy and Zora also came up, over the wall, Usopp led the way with ease, and soon arrived under the window sill of Kaya's boudoir, at the window, Kaya is watching the blue sky and white clouds outside the window, at first glance, it looks like a canary in a cage tilde, Usopp, you're here, the last story is coming to an end, isn't it, seeing Usopp, Kaya's pale cheeks suddenly glowed, Kaya, let's not talk about the story, I have something important to tell you, Usopp rushed over, but before he had time to say it, he heard a harsh voice appearing from the corner next to him, it turns out that you are a big talker, and this time you brought so many unidentified people with you, it's really going too far, while speaking, Crow, currently known as Crow Butler, appeared, what, a piece of Usopp conditioning, this person in front of me looks gentle Tilda, but actually, big pirate Tilda, killing without blinking an eye, who is not afraid, not to mention the timid Usopp, Crow walked over, his eyes fell on Zora's waist, and then his face became serious, wait, these people still have knives, are they pirates, he wasn't afraid, after all, Crow doesn't care about this ceased blue pirate at all, instead, this incident can be used to make Kaya completely loathe Usopp, so that he can implement his plan, Luffy took a big bite, White Fang, well, we are the Straw Hat Pirates, as soon as the words came out, Crow shouted angrily, it really is a pirate, he took a step forward, stood in front of Kaya, and turned his eyebrows coldly at the straw hats, you dirty pirates, please get out of here immediately, don't disturb our lady's rest, while speaking, he also took the opportunity to divert the trouble to Usopp, Usopp, you are really not a good person, I was afraid that you would spoil our lady before, but now you are colluding with pirates, you really have the same virtue as your pirate father, at first glance, Crow's angry reprimand is reasonable, of course, if he himself is not a pirate, his personality charm will stand up Tilda, unfortunately, bitch erecting a Tori I, always so funny Tilda, what, Usopp is angry, exclamation mark, because he heard that Crow actually made fun of his dad, you know, although Yasop is not a good husband or a good boss, in Usopp's heart, his father is his hero, exclamation mark, ha Tilda, ha Tilda, Usopp clenched his fists tightly, took a deep breath, and looked at Crow fiercely with his eyes, as if forgetting Crow's ferocious name, Usopp yelled, you can't say that about my daddy, my daddy, he's a free sea fighter, Usopp, get to the point, Liu Olan poked Usopp's arm with his hand, focus, oh Tilda, right, you said that pirates are not good, what about you, are you not a pirate, and you are a murderous pirate, Usopp summoned up his courage and said angrily, mm, Tilda, hearing this, Crow's heart skipped a beat, did you know, but the next moment, no, it should be nonsense, what's more, here's Usopp, who would believe his words, question mark, immediately, Crow continued to speak in a gentle tone, what are you talking about, is it so embarrassing that you want to pour dirty water on someone, Kaya on the side was also angry, you soap, why do you Kaya slander steward Clobatel, if you do this again, I will be angry, no, I didn't slander him, Kaya, look, this is marine's reward order, and the picture on it is Chloe Bartle, his real name is Chloe, and he is the captain of the black cat pirates, with that said, you soap took out the reward order, what, seeing the reward order, Kaya was a little horrified, the painting on the reward order is indeed Clobatel. But is this true? Ha 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 Tilda. Crow suddenly laughed. He pointed to the reward and said, You soap, in order to slander me. Did you draw a reward on purpose? Chloe Battel is not a bad guy. You must have made a mistake while you filmed it. Kai also thinks so. You soap was in a hurry. I didn't slander. This is you. You can't be blamed. Forget it. I'm too lazy to argue with a liar like you. Crow shook his head calmly, then shouted towards the yard. Come on, please get these pirates out. Ah. You bastard, seeing that Crow completely reversed black and white, you so rushed forward anxiously. But he was caught by Liu o Lan. Okay, Beiji Kelu O, it doesn't matter if you don't admit it. Liu o Lan's voice caught Crow's attention. Liu o Lan pointed to Zora and said, He is a bounty hunter. He took Marine's reward order, so he came to arrest you. Just go through the procedure and let Miss Kaya know your true face. Then come down, it's time to do it directly. Hearing what Liu o Lan said, Crow's expression finally changed. As for Zora, once he heard that there was a battle to fight, he immediately felt relieved Tilda, Liu Lan reminded, by the way, there is no need to keep alive, the dead bounty is the same, and it is convenient to transport, understood, clang, he Dao's words come out of the sheath, wait, Crow shouted, he stared at the few people in front of him seriously, and his originally gentle face gradually became cloudy, that gloomy aura made Kyle behind him feel scared, and subconsciously murmured, Clobatel, after a while, Crow lowered his head and shook his head slightly Tilda, he put his hands on his face, his body twitched because of the violent laughter Tilda, he ha he ha 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 ha, what a bunch of ignorant idiots, the corner of Crow grinned, and looked at Liu Olan and the others with the eyes of a dead person, isn't it good to be your little pirate with peace of mind, why did you come here to die, three days, Crow raised, three fingers, only three days, what, what three days, looking at the butler who had become unfamiliar, Kaya spoke nervously, Crow still said to himself, 
Three days later, my original subordinates will attack this village, and Kai will die in an accident at that time. And I will inherit all the property here and live a comfortable life. Life. R. Clobatel, what are you talking about? An unbelievable expression appeared on her pale face. Kai didn't know her housekeeper at all. But Sven's face suddenly became ferocious, and Crow pointed at Liu Olan and the others viciously. You idiots. Let my plan be completely ruined. Although killing you can take away all the property, but I will be chased by the stupid marine again. You. Let my three years of hard work go to waste. Chloe hates it Tilda. Just because of these few guys, his three years of low eyebrows and pleasing to the eye have become a joke. Exclamation mark. If he knew earlier that he needed to be killed, why bother to endure it for three years? Three years of forbearance, forbearance of loneliness? In order to thank you for your stupid behavior, I decided to let you die a little easier. Having said that, Crow pushed his glasses with both hands, and then clenched his fist tilde. Rub! Exclamation mark. A spider cat's claw, unsheathed coldly. Exclamation mark. Chapter 48 Zora can't be this good tilde. When a spider's cat claws stretched out, Crow finally couldn't hide the murderous aura on his body. Exclamation mark. Looking at his gentle face at this time, there is no sense of gentleness, just like a pervert killer tilde, bounty hunter. Is it? Crow looked at Zora, and said sharply, in East Blue. There should be more than a hundred bounty hunters who died in my hands. I haven't heard of names like yours. It should be within three years of my retirement. A newcomer who has just risen. A rookie. Always self-righteous. You won't realize how stupid you are until you die. Crow wasn't originally a Susianian character, but the few people in front of him turned his three-year forbearance into a joke. He can't let go. Ah have you finished? Can you do it? Zora was a little sleepy. He yawned and said, Puff Tilda. Nami covered her mouth and laughed. Liu Olan is speechless Tilda. It is said that villains die from talking too much. But the one in front of me should belong to the category of I live a few more seconds because I talk a lot Tilda. Want to die early? Then come. Hearing Zora's ridicule, Crow also realized that he seemed to be a bit wordy, and immediately stopped talking about it. We're going to fight. You come to us. Liu Olan will protect you. Here, Nami came to the window and helped Kaya out with your soap. Kaya is now in a state of desperation, unable to face this cruel fact. Since Chloe is a big pirate who has killed countless people, then the death of her parents. Although Kaya knew that her parents died of illness, but now she has no reason not to suspect that this is a conspiracy by Chloe Tilda. Thinking of this, grief came from his heart, fear lay on Nami's body, and he began to cry. Come to fight. Zora rushed to Crow. In the middle of the road, the word he dow in his hand suddenly slipped into the scabbard. Hey Tilda, is Zora going to punch instead? Luffy scratched his head, confused. Liu Olan also couldn't understand Zora's operation, so he guessed, maybe he wants to use Ju's lash? Luffy suddenly has a black question mark on his face Tilda. Although Ju's an is a well-known sword move. But since the sabre is already out of its sheath, do you have to draw it back first and then use Ju's an? Isn't this mentally handicapped? If it wasn't for Zora's face, Luffy would complain about the real name system. Rush! Exclamation mark. When Zora rushed in front of Crow, Crow's figure moved sideways instantly and disappeared from Zora's eyes. Silent step. This is the trick that Crow is famous for. Like a cunning civet, Crow moved quickly, but didn't make a sound. Zora stood where he was. He still didn't draw his sword, he just waited quietly till the rush. The cold light of Cat's claw came from one side. Zora moved. However, he didn't completely avoid the blow, causing a small cut in his left arm. Rush. Cat's claw strikes again. Although Zora was not careless, comma, dot, 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 he still couldn't dodge completely. Another wound. Ah, Tilda? What is this idiot doing? Nami can't stand it anymore. She also watched Zora's performance in Orange Town, and knows that Zora's strength can't be so good, Tilda. Your partner, is he unable to lift a knife? You soap originally hoped that Liu Olan and his gang would get rid of the big pirate clue. But now he was a little scared. What if this group of people is not Crow's opponent? I'd better run away. But, Kaya is still here. If I escape, wouldn't Kaya die? What's more, this is the village where I grew up. If I escape, what will the villagers do? Thinking of this, Usopp immediately picked up the slingshot and aimed at Crow. But Crow's silent steps were too fast for Usopp to miss. Forget it, let's cover it. Facing the possible trajectory of Crow, Usopp fired a pepper star. Clang! Exclamation mark. He Dao's words suddenly came out of the sheath, snapped. The Firebird star was shot flying and exploded outside the wall. Nah. Nani? Question mark. Usopp was stunned. What kind of operation is this? He shouted. Hey, hey, you guy, I'm helping you. Don't get in the way of my fight. Zora just said casually, and put the word hair Dao back into the scabbard. Rush, rush. Crow's figure continued to jump around Zora, causing Zora to have a few more wounds. Stupid guy helpless in front of me, can you only yell at your helper for his incompetence? Crow's figure temporarily stopped in front of Zora, mocking mercilessly. Ah! How disgusting! The expression on Zora's face was very depressed, and he said depressedly, I can't hear it I can't hear it. Upon hearing this, Crow sneered, nonsense. This is my ultimate move, silent step, 
which can move fast like a cat without making a sound. How could it be possible for you to hear the sound? Sure enough, he is a stupid newcomer who doesn't even understand this simple truth. I am really unwilling to be ruined by such a fool. Zora shook his head. I'm not talking about that. I mean I can't hear your breath. Although Crow's silent step has no sound, Zora can still easily keep up with his speed. As long as Zora's eyes followed Crow's trajectory, he couldn't make Crow disappear from his field of vision. But just now, Zora stood there and didn't move at all. It is that he voluntarily gave up locking Crow with his vision, so as to listen to Crow's breath. Breath? Question mark. What the hell? Crow looked at Zora with some disgust. Are you confused by my abuse? Zora ignored him, but turned to look at Liu Olan. The listening power you mentioned is really difficult tilde. Dot. Liu Olan rolled his eyes tilde. Good guy. No wonder there has been no knife. After a long time, you're using Crow to practice observation haki. After thinking for a while, Liu Olan said, the authorities are obsessed, but the bystanders are clear. Zora, you come back first. Let Luffy show you a demonstration. You study hard. Chapter 49 You actually take me as a humanoid textbook? Question mark. It is good. Although Zora is stronger, facing this kind of person who is not his opponent at all, he doesn't have the desire to defeat him. But if you can take this opportunity to study observation haki, it would be great. Pushing his feet, Zora jumped back. Wheel to fight is to fight with wheels. Do you need to find such a lame reason? What kind of power is that to listen to? It's ridiculous. Crow did not prevent the opponent from making a temporary substitution. In his opinion, no matter how he changes, the final result is that he will destroy the opponent's group. Wow. Kaka is it time for me to appear? Luffy took a step forward, spread his legs, and raised his hand. Um, what kind of move is this? Crow had never seen such a weird move before, and he immediately raised his vigilance. But the next moment Tilda, Nanny, exclamation mark. Crow has a feeling of being tricked Tilda, because Luffy is doing stretching Tilda. I'm really looking for death. In his eyes, Luffy's behavior is simply provocative. Brush, with a movement of the soles of his feet, Crow disappeared. Brush, exclamation mark. The spider's cat's claws flashed coldly and appeared on Luffy's side, cutting directly to Luffy's main artery. This provocative guy, kill me! Exclamation mark. Tilda? Crow paused, his brow furrowed. Because the paw scratched it just now, Crow didn't feel any force Tilda. Missed? Impossible. Luck. The guy must have been lucky and just avoided it. Chloe move again. Rush. The spider's cat claws clawed at Luffy's neck. This time, Crow saw it carefully. FK me! Exclamation mark. But just when a spider's cat claws were about to cut Luffy's neck, only Luffy's stretching motion just twisted his neck to the right. Brush, the spider's cat's claw just brushed Luffy's neck skin less than an inch away tilde. Nanny? Question mark. Crow frowned again. I obviously launched the attack from the blind spot of his vision, but he actually dodged twice in a row. Could he predict my attack trajectory? Question mark. Do not. Impossible. How could such a thing happen? It must have been a coincidence. Brush, 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 dot. After a dozen consecutive attacks, Locke finally realized that the problem was not that simple. Once twice, it can still be called luck. But after more than a dozen attacks, none of them hit. He has some doubts about life tilde. On the other side, Zora has been watching seriously. The more I watch, the more I become obsessed with this power of listening. Feeling the ease and comfort of Luffy in the battle, Zora gritted his teeth. Observation Haki, I must master it. Crow breathed deeply, and he lowered his figure, like a walking cat, carefully looking at the form of the battlefield. Damn it, what is the power of listening that you just said? Is it relying on that power to avoid all my attacks? This dilemma is really uncomfortable. Oh, Liu Olan told me, it's called Observation Haki. Luffy finished stretching and said while picking his nose. Observation Haki, what is that? Why haven't I heard of it? Crow was confused by the word. Liu Olan smiled, isn't it normal for a rookie like you who only has a reward of 16 million to have never heard of such a grand thing? Um, a mere 16 million reward? Question mark. Small vegetable chicken? Question mark. Chloe laughed, exclamation mark. He was so angry that he laughed back. After three years of disappearance, has he been reduced to the point of being ridiculed by newcomers? If only you were all better than me. But just now, the green-haired guy was clearly beaten all over by me. And this guy who laughed at me for only having 16 million bell, do you really know what 16 million represents? That is, looking at the entire East Blue, it is also in existence at the top of the pyramid. Good tilde, I won't be able to kill this idiot with observation haki for a while, but what about you? Ha ha. All must die! Exclamation mark. You self-righteous newcomers, do you think that with a strong partner, you can do whatever you want? As a pirate, I, my senior, will teach you how terrifying it is to be jealous of a pirate who hovers between life and death. With that said, Crow bowed his body and lowered his head. The hands hang down naturally, and the espada hangs down with it. He suddenly became so scary, even though it was far away. Nami couldn't help but feel a shiver, and subconsciously leaned against Liu Lan. If I'm not mistaken, he should use that move to kill indiscriminately. Come behind me, 
and it should spread here later. Liu Olan said, it is good. Hearing that Liu Olan wanted to protect her, Nami was very happy, and immediately pulled Ka to hide behind Liu Olan. Hey, hey, I need protection too. Although Yu Soap is weak, he is still very accurate in predicting the danger, so he quickly hides behind Zora. Zora looked behind Liu Olan, then looked behind himself, and immediately said, die die. With a low shout from Gro, his figure disappeared instantly. Exclamation mark. It is several times faster than the previous silent step. Rush, swipe, 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 exclamation mark. Luffy looked serious, constantly changing his posture, avoiding every deadly attack without haste. When, 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 the knife in Zoro's hand sometimes lifted up, sometimes cut horizontally, and sometimes slashed forward. Every time he takes a shot, he hits the Espada Cat's claw accurately. Although he hasn't mastered observation Haki yet, his vision alone is enough to deal with Crow's death. Liu Olan's side is even more exaggerated, with one hand being held tightly behind Nami's back, only the other arm was used to casually block Crow's deadly move. Speed, defense tilde. The two attributes seem extremely unsolvable at this time. Good. So amazing. Feeling Liu Olan's calmness, Kaya opened her mouth in horror tilde. Well, any time, as long as you are by Liu Olan's side, you are absolutely safe. Nami had a proud expression on his face, as if Kaya was not praising Liu Olan, but her. This is not because Nami deliberately wanted to flatter Liu Olan, but the last time in Orange Town, Liu Olan appeared in time to save Nami who was doomed to die. This absolutely safe personality has been deeply embedded in Nami's soul. Now, Liu Olan easily protects the two of them, and Nami is more sure in her heart. In danger, find Liu Olan. Around Liu Olan is the security field. There was a burst of gaudy felling, and the flowers, plants and trees in the yard were cut to pieces till the crow paused, gasping for breath with self-doubt on his face. No dot 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 it's impossible. I made a big move, but in the end only Hua Wa Kakao endured all this? Question mark. Do not. I do not believe. Exclamation mark. Okay, the teaching is over. Luffy, you come back first. Let Zora take care of this human figure textbook. What should be shown also shows that as far as Zora can learn, it is up to his own creation. Of course, it doesn't matter if you can t learn it. It's already started. Are you afraid that Haki won t come? Although Luffy can easily deal with Crow but he is afraid that his head will heat up and knock Crow into the air. For an out-and-out -out garbage like Crow, it's better to let Zora finish it. In comparison, Zora has a knife, which is a desperate move. Teach dot 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 textbook, question mark. Crow's brain buzzed, and he was so angry, exclamation mark. You actually use me as a teaching material, question mark. Bastard, die to me. Seeing Zora coming in front of him, Crow exploded in anger. Rush, silent step again. One sword style, yay I. Lion song song, clang, exclamation mark. Hidao's words come out of the sheath, clang, the words of Hidao are sheathed. Zora walked towards Liu Olan and the others with a blank face. No dot 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 impossible. Behind Zora, Crow's figure freezes in the air, puff, exclamation mark. Like a fountain of blood burst out violently from his mouth tilde, boom, Crow's body fell to the ground. His eyes were full of unwillingness tilde. Chapter 50 Build the Merry, not bad money. Changing from Clobatel to Crow, although the process was a bit fast, it was also a bit sudden tilde. But Kaya is just a lady kept in the dark, not a fool. From the time Crow's Espada cat claws were unsheathed, Kaya knew everything. The next day tilde, with the help of another butler, Merry, Crow's body was sent to the nearest marine base for bounty. In the living room of the mansion, Kaya is entertaining the Straw Hats. If a few people from the Straw Hat Pirates had not come to this island, her life would have come to an end in two days. Kaya couldn't feel better when she thought that the housekeeper who took care of her for three days was actually a murderous big pirate. After being lost for a long time, Kaya regained her composure, with a smile on her face. If you want a boat, that's quite a coincidence. What a coincidence, sister Kaya. Nami sits next to Kaya, and has been helping her soothe her mood throughout the day. Meli is building a boat recently. It was originally intended to be used for shipping goods for the family business. Since you need it, I can give this boat to you as a gift. Kaya is a kind lady and she is very grateful to the straw hats who helped her. A gift? That would be great. Luffy, who was gnawing on a pig's trotter, immediately raised his hands and cheered happily when he heard this. Nami also looks like Bailey in her eyes tilde. Send us a word. Then we saved a lot of money. However, Liu Olan said, if you give it as a gift, it is too expensive. Miss Kaya, we have money, so let's buy it. If it's just going merry like the original plot, then give it away. But Liu Olan planned to have an enlarged version of the Meli and the cost must be at least several times that of the original Meli, maybe even ten times. Although Kaya is a local tyrant, he is only a local tyrant in the village. Liu Olan didn't want to do something like taking advantage of the fire. Kaya smiled and said, it's okay, a boat, it's not too expensive. No, I still have some ideas. After thinking for a while, Liu Olan expressed his thoughts on shipbuilding. After listening to the shipbuilding blueprint drawn by Liu Olan, 
Kai understood that the cost of this ship is indeed very expensive. In order to express his gratitude to Liu Olan and others, Kai insisted on taking out 20 million baileys as shipbuilding funds. Don't underestimate 2,000 baileys. The cost of the Meli in the original plot is only about 10 million baileys. Meli took everyone to the shipbuilding workshop. At this time, the Mary has already started laying the keel of the ship. Meli introduced to Liu Olan, Mr. Liu Olan, since you want a bigger boat, I'll have the keel laid again. However, it may take a little time. Time is not a problem. As the saying goes, sharpening a knife is not the same as chopping firewood. With a good ship, our voyage on the sea will be smooth air. As far as materials are concerned, use good materials. With that said, Liu Olan patted his pocket, I'm not short of money. Ahaha ha tilde. Li was also amused by Liu Olan's humor. At this time, Yu Soap leaned over and whispered in Liu Olan's ear, Are you really not going to let me be your captain? Dot. Liu Olan rolled his eyes, then pointed to a tree in the distance. Did you see that tree? Yu Soap nodded, See, as long as I run under the tree within ten seconds, you will invite me to be your captain, right? Liu Olan shrugged, No, no, no tilde, I mean, it's cool under the tree, you go and stay there. Yu Soap, the construction of Mali is not a small project, but Kaio activated the bank notability, and almost all the labor force of the entire Xiliwabu village came to help. The originally expected one-month construction period was forcibly compressed within a one-week plan. Two days later, the members of the Black Cat Pirates landed in Sirob village in a mighty manner, confirming Crow's plan tilde. Subsequently, these guys fell under Zoro's knife one by one. In Kaya's mansion, in a spacious room facing the sun tilde, Liu Olan is drawing a cartoon. This habit of drawing comics every day has been integrated into his life. Even if he is not on the boat, Liu Olan is still very self-disciplined. If you don't draw a comic every day, you will feel uncomfortable tilde. As for Luffy, Zoro and Nami, they all went to help in the shipbuilding workshop. However, Liu Lan didn't quite agree with what the three of them did. After all, there are specializations in the art industry. If you are a layman to help, not only may you not be able to help, but there is a high probability that it will be a disservice. Boom 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 tilde. At this time, there was a knock on the door. The door was open, and the person who came knocked first was obviously very cultivated. It's Miss Kaya. Liu Olan looked up and saw Kaya holding a cup of coffee at the door. I heard from Nami that Mr. Liu Olan spends a lot of time drawing manga every day, so he just wanted to make a cup of coffee to refresh Mr. Liu Olan. May I come in? Kaya stood at the door. Her voice was very gentle. Of course, you are the master here. Liu Olan got up immediately and motioned for Kaya to come in and sit down. Putting down the coffee, Kaya sat at the drawing table looked at the comics that Liu Olan was creating, and showed interest. She looked at it for a while, and couldn't help praising, these cartoons are so exquisite, Mr. Liu Olan is really amazing. Well, that's my specialty. Liu Olan smiled and was not humble. Afterwards, Liu Olan asked, are you here? Actually, there is something wrong. Ah, did you see it? Hearing this, Kaya opened her mouth in surprise, and then smiled again, that's right, you are such a powerful person, how can you not see it? Let's be honest. As long as I can help, I will help. Getting along with people is a kind of mutual benefit in itself. Inheriting his love for shipbuilding, it is reasonable for him to ask for something at this moment. Kaya pursed her slightly white lips, and then said cautiously, You dot 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 are you really unwilling to take your soap out to sea? Forehead. It was actually for this matter. Seeing that Liu Olan did not answer, Kaya said again, I know, you may think that Liu soap is a person who likes to talk big and lie, but I promise. He is definitely a reliable partner. If you can, you can take him to the seat together. Liu Lan was a little curious and said, As far as I know, when you are sick, you soap often write some stories to make you happy, which is very helpful to your illness. According to common sense, you should hope that he stays right? Kaya smiled. Well, I'm really grateful to him. In fact, in my heart, he is like an incompetent big brother. Although he likes to lie, he is definitely not the trash in everyone's mouth. His childhood dream was to be a free sea fighter like his father. Actually, I hate pirates very much and so do the people in the village. But, let me know that there are good people among pirates. If you soap big brother is going to be a pirate, I really hope he can be a partner of people like you. Oh, yes. Sorry, I seem to ask a bit too much. Suddenly realizing that he had been talking, Kaya's little face turned red. It made the pale face that had been ill for a long time appear to have some vitality. Ha ha, it's fine, Liu Olan said with a smile. Actually, we have discussed it internally and decided to let you soap join us a long time ago. Really? Kaya's eyes sparkled. Liu Lan nodded. Yes, it's just that this guy wants to be the captain every day, and we deliberately ignored him. Ha ha, a ha ha tilde, he is just so out of tune. Knowing that the Straw Hat Pirates have accepted you soap, Kaya feels relieved. Mr. Liu Lan, then you are busy first. I will ask the servant to prepare lunch for you. Saying that, Kaya stood up and walked out. However, I don't know if it was too hasty to stand up. Kaya suddenly felt a blackness in front of her eyes, and fell directly to the ground. Miss Kaya, Liu Olan had sharp eyes and quick hands, 
rushed over with one step and supported Kaya, cough cough cough, exclamation mark. The body that was originally weak and untouchable, looked even more withered under a burst of severe coughing tilde. Although Kaya deliberately concealed it, the blood stains in the handkerchief couldn't escape Liu Olan's eyes. Is this? How unlucky a beauty has been since ancient times Tilda. With Kaya's physical condition, it is estimated that she will not live long. Sorry for making Mr. Liu Olan a joke. Kaya's dizziness improved slightly. She left Liu Olan's arms, and then walked out in a depressed mood. Wait a moment. Liu Olan shouted. Om Tilda. Kaya turned around. I heard that there is a magnetic drum island on the Grand Line. The island is famous for being rich in famous doctors, and there are even old miracle doctors who have lived for more than a hundred years. Your illness is nothing to those people. Although Liu Olan doesn't want to break the original staffing, but, after all, he is not a hard-hearted big pirate. Facing Kaya's situation, he can't just sit idly by Tilda. If you want. Come to sea with us. Go out to sea. Kaya was stunned. Does she want to go to sea? Think! Exclamation mark. Although those stories were compiled by Usopp, they inspired Kaya's longing for the overseas world tilde. But because of the willingness of the body, it is almost impossible for Kaya to go to sea. However, at this moment, Liu lands invitation. Kaya is moved! Exclamation mark. What's more, that island rich in famous doctors. If my illness can be cured, I will no longer have to be afraid of going to sea tilde. Don't worry about answering me. We still have to stay in Xiluobu village for a few days. Before you leave, just give me an answer. Liu Olan said. Well, thank you, Mr. Liu Olan. I'm going to ask the servant to prepare lunch for you. After shaking the handkerchief in hand, Kaya's heart beat faster tilde. If you like this audiobook, subscribe the channel for more videos like this. And join my Patreon if you want to support me. Leave some comment and let me know if you guys like this story, or you have a web novel you like and want to hear its audiobook. I will be happy to create them for you. Please like, share and leave a comment on the video.